What up, what up? What's going on, y'all? Shout through shout through the shades today. Do the shady day. I do the shades. I don't know. Bright light kind of bright, but I think I could do without it. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the live. My name is Brother Legend. I'm here to love my people. I'm here to educate and lift us up. I hope everybody's had a lovely day. Thank you, Shantae, for the gift. Peace, family, in the in the comments. Gullah, appreciate you. Appreciate everybody being here, man. I hope the ancestors have blessed you all, watched over you while you slumbered, while you worked, did whatever you had to do, provided for your family. Hope you've done so safely. I hope um, hope you ate good, you know what I'm saying? Give thanks, you know, to the creator, you know, and um, yeah. We're going to get started today. We talking about some things up here. Yes, Ashe, Ashe. I'm not a uh, religious person, but I am a spiritual person. And um, I do have respect for everyone, no matter if you, if you uh, haven't decolonized enough. And you still, you know, believe in religion, then cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not everybody's journey. But um, I do appreciate y'all coming through anyway. We got our topics up here. We're talking about interracial relationships. We're going to keep it rolling from yesterday. I change my topics a lot. I try to change them like every time I come up here. But, you know, maybe I should stick to a few more frequently but um yeah so you already know the rules when you come up give us your age race and pronouns we're unpacking some mayonnaise as we always do um i might start bringing y'all up one at a time again people kiss people start shouting over each other you know what i'm saying conversation gets kind of out of hand we don't want to do that can interracial relationships be problematic? Is it a preference or a fetish? You don't have to say that uh, last word. Fetishization is something that uh, people do not know how to pronounce. But it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Can you be pro-black with a non-black spouse? I'm a pro-black man. And um, shout out to all the pro-black men. You know what I'm saying? The men. We already know the sisters are pro-black, but if you're a brother, shout out to them sisters as well, but if you're a brother, man, I just want to salute you for looking out for our community, building within our community, holding the sister down. You're not holding her back, lifting her up, you know what I'm saying? Loving your black children, raising them with knowledge of self. Shout out to them brothers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them brothers. And um, absolutely, Ashe, always going to be loyal to my people. And, um, you know, marrying a black woman um, is one of the most pro-black things you can do. We have to understand that uh, when we're all born, there are more boys than girls. You know that? There's 1.08 boys in the black community for every girl that's born by the time we reach 18 there's almost two available women for every one man by the time we reach 18 there's two available meaning single straight women for every one available straight man mass incarceration has a lot to do with that unaliving has a lot to do with that if you want to know more, look up Countering the Conspiracy to Destroy Black Boys. Black men are deemed a threat in this country. 
but systemically, the number one threat in this country is black boys more than black men. Um, to make it to being a man is a blessing in this country. Me being on this live, not in jail and not six feet in the ground is a blessing. Um, and uh, it's it's something that, you know, many of us take for granted. But um, as a married man, um, as a man that, you know, is for his community, I think it's imperative that I teach brothers that because we're there, we are so few for our sisters, um, it is the most pro-black thing you can do to marry a black woman. Now, the thing is, we also, and I know the sisters don't want to hear this. I'm about to mess up my whole speech. <laughs> but, <laughs> technically, <laughs> all right, I'm going to stop. Um, our history teaches us that uh, the way families were arranged um, went by the needs of the tribe thing called Ubuntu. Look it up. Bantu people know what I'm talking about. Ubuntu. That means that the how relationships were set up in our customs and our ways going back thousands of years was based on the needs of the tribe and not the individual's emotions and wants. So what that means is as uh, someone spelled Ubuntu crazy. <laughs> U-N-B-U-N-T-U. Ubuntu. Um, but uh, what that means is as an African-American tribe, as the tribe of, Af of Africans in America, um, with a shortage of men, the needs of the tribe is that maybe we might have to double up, y'all. But uh, we can talk about that another time. I know the sisters don't want to hear that. <laughs> might have to double up. <laughs> It's funny, but it's not because it only happens in uh, our culture when there's a shortage of men. Um, or, or it would also happen when there was um, an abundance of water in the community. Um, that's another thing. When there was a shortage of water, when there was a drought, um, the there would be more men than women because women retain less water. Um, these are the patterns of our people. But um, we'll talk about that another time. As for now, here in America, we've got a race problem. And um, some think that, uh, you know, dating outside of our community is the answer. Some of us have learned a lesson or two. Some of us um, date uh, someone in the black community and have a unique experience. I want to open up the floor for anybody that wants to come up and talk about it. Um, we're over 2k likes. Thank you all for tapping like, I didn't even have to say it this time. Appreciate you. But yeah, you know, we're talking about love. We're talking about race. If you come up, we are going to have to talk about, uh, we are going to have to talk about your age, your race, and your pronouns, you know, give that to us first because we are talking about race. We want to make sure that all nuances are taken, all context is taken into account when you're speaking. If not, you could just show your forehead, show your camera. I'm going to read some of the comments until somebody requests to come up. Someone answered and said, yes, but they aren't by default. I think that's a lie. They are problematic by default. Two, preference. No, that is spoken like a colonizer once again. There is no such thing as a racial, racial preference. Three, the answer is no. Four, the answer is no. Um, the thing that's wild about my live is that um, black people and white people both will read this prompt and see it completely different. And... Um, it's just, a, it's a shame. It's a shame. This prompt highlights the divide so much. 
it highlights it. It just circles it for us. Some of those that are non-black that are watching, pay attention. Pay attention. If you're one of those people that say, I'm just here to learn, then sit back and learn. If you got an opinion, you got something you want to share with us, maybe something we're not seeing, feel free to come on up. But um, there is something to learn because when I bring people up here, you will see most brothers and sisters go one way and you will see most snow people go the other way. It's very interesting. I've been doing this live for about a year now and it feels like I can almost predict the answers. Well, after we answer age, race, pronouns, I can damn near predict the answer. Yes, snow people, people who have adapted to the snow. Snow people, yes. Going to bring someone up. What's good, King? What's good, King? Honestly, Sean, it, what's it going on? Heart, you feel me? As a black brother of seeing this, you feel me? Cause... Real quick, uh, before you go in, give us your mm -hmm. age, race, and pronouns, please. Uh, yeah, so I'm 30 years old. Um, you feel me? I'm an Aboriginal American, you feel me? Um, mm -hmm. You feel me? I come from one of the... That's not a race. I come from one of the Indian tribes that used to be here. You feel oh, me? so you're indigenous? Yes, sir. Okay. You feel me? But one thing I would say is... I thought you um, said you was black, but all right. Huh? Same thing, you feel me? Honestly, nah, you it's not the same thing. If you do your research, you will know. Oh that. man, you one of those. Yes, I am. So, right. do you know that uh, what's that guy's name? If you look here, Remember? what's that guy? What's that guy, y'all? On TikTok, some of y'all get your education from TikTok. It's hilarious. If you look here, no, 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 I do what's that thing. guy's name? It's like Earth something, right? Is that is wait, that we? Is that wait? What so hold on, hold on, hold on. But wait, let's go back to um. I want to <laughs> wait. What's the first question, though, that you got up here? Could uh -huh. interracial relationships be problematic? I don't think so. You feel me? Honestly, like, you know what I'm saying I believe that we should support interracial relationships because Who's then, everybody, you feel me? Because honestly, then it'll break the concept of race. The more people that you have mixed won't even see race no more because you know what I'm saying you're integrated with so many different things. You know what I'm saying? So then this would break the gap between white and black because so many people is just focused on color. Why do you race, care about white and black? You're not white or black. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I am. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, so you're indigenous. The United States passed a law that said African Americans, also Native Americans, can be required and basically be underlined as African American. Why if do you, you care do about research. African Americans? If Talk about your own people. What happens when y'all date in a race? I'm saying you are my people. If you, if you, I'm can... not one of you. I'm not. I'm not Cherokee. I'm not uh, Cherokee. I said I was Cherokee. Did I say that? I'm not. No. I'm not Cherokee. I'm not. I'm, I'm that, a black person. Me? I'm not a Cherokee. Look, my thing is, my thing person. is one, one king. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying about race in general. The more people that talk about race, the more you're flu fueling what the system is trying to do. Race so what scholar told thing. you that? I'm teaching my, I've taught myself this, you feel uh, me? Exactly. Yeah, it sounds like you taught yourself that. I, 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 I've read many scholars, many books on this subject, but um, I'm going to listen to someone that's a Cherokee Indian on TikTok about his right, hot yo, takes on yo, race. Yo, my brother, my brother, you feel me? I grew up in the hood. I'm black, you feel me? Like, you feel me? I, now I, I, he's black. Five. Look, my thing is I'm both. No, he's black. Look, my thing is you don't know. You don't know. The black law. one is convenient. Okay. But do you know law? <laughs> do you know what the laws that was passed that did to people that used to inhabit this land? No, you don't. So you can't speak on the past things that you even do research. I like on. how you tell me what I don't know. But then so you do, say I you don't you, know any I books from any scholars time, that can verify you know anything law? or qualify anything you just said. Yes, the United States Constitution and the laws that's indoctrinated on us. You read the Constitution? I read the Constitution and I read the acts that was passed. Mm -hmm. you, and what is the 14th Amendment? You know what I'm saying? Oh, what does the 14th, 14th Amendment 14th do? The 14th Amendment is BS. You know what I'm saying? What does it do? You know what I'm saying, but wait, let's get back to the let's get back to the question. Honestly, I, I, <laughs> you're, you're I ain't read the whole. Honestly, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it above. I ain't read the whole Constitution, but I read the acts that was passed. You feel me? 
Because, look, everything is all an act that be passed. You feel me? You got to read the acts that was passed. You got to look up the Indian and American War. You feel me? You gotta Why do I got to look that up? That got nothing to do with me. All right, if you think so. But um, also, to go back to this, you feel me? The more people that took it, like, you feel me? You, you believe in race. That's what it seems like. You believe in race. I believe in race. Do you? You don't? You don't believe no. that it exists? No. You no, know I'm what saying I believe I believe there's only I know race exists. I don't believe I believe there's only one race. I believe it's a human race. Oh really? Race. Well tell yeah. that to a police officer. You feel me? I will. You tell that me? to a police officer. I if will. they see you running down the street after someone got on a live, they're gonna say I saw a black man running that way. They're not gonna say I saw a human going over there. So my they're not, thing they're is, definitely not gonna say I saw a Cherokee man. So or, would that make us better yeah. to basically indulge in what the quote unquote enemy is doing? That don't make us better than that person if we're basically um basically adapting their ideology. Do you know who Giatri Spivak is? No. Do you know why the Black Panther Party call themselves Black Panthers? You educate me then. That's what I'm saying. But you could have got this from the comments. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, listen, I don't. I already did enough knowledge of uh, I did enough digging in the knowledge of my ancestors for somebody to come here and challenge that with. But you you talking about people that was here when Columbus arrived? I'm talking about people that was here before Columbus. It's a total different thing. For me, nah, we're not I'm talking about different I'm things. To get past the col col colonization hey, of look, America. Hey, look, that go ahead. Go ahead, go down, and I'll let you back up when you read a book or two. I'll I'll even follow you. How about that? Just 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 come back up. Go read the African Origin of Civilization by Sheikh Anta Jup. Write this down. Can you write this down? No, 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 no. I want you to look up Columbus Dictionary. No, I don't gotta look none of that up. Landed. I already I already I already know what I already know what you're trying. No, to I ain't use, trying. It's to facts. Just, no, you're trying. It's you're facts. trying. I ain't I've trying. listened to James Smalls. I've read Ivan now, Van brother. Sertima. I know everything you're talking about. It's just you're using what... Yeah, he don't know what the hell he's talking about. He didn't even know what the 14th Amendment did. Like, come on, y'all. Stop playing with me, man. Come on, man. Y'all, and that's what's so annoying about this app is... Yo, can I be real? Can, let me be real with y'all. I do my own research, right? I'm a data analyst. I do my own research. I know how to actually find facts on the internet, right? It is so annoying when people like that come up because I'm not a scholar. I don't have a doctorate in any of these uh, topics. I'm just a brother that do some research, and it's not that hard. So when someone comes up and it's like the scholar's got like a whole ocean of knowledge, I got a bucket. And then somebody come up here with a teaspoon and I'm like, y'all making this so easy because I don't even have a doctorate. Like, I'm not even I'm not teaching university courses like it's really available, y'all. Like, y'all show how whack you are, to be honest. You know, like common sense ain't common. I heard that in the, in the comments, man. Hello, brother. What's going on, coach? Could you give us your age, race and pronouns, please? Yeah, I'm 37. I am a, I'm a male from Cameroon, South Africa. A human male? <laughs> you playing I'm with male. me? I'm a human male, bro. I'm not an alien. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A human male. Okay, so what is your race? Well, I'm African. What I'm Nubian. Race? I'm Nubian? African. I'm Nub yeah, Nubian. That's how we were called before, you know, before all this okay. shit. You know, I, I I got so much interested in your work in your life because mm -hmm. you called out books which I read. Sheikh and Tajiob, great guy. Yeah. And um, many people don't know. You know, even here in Africa, sometimes the problem I have when I talk with my own people, even here, we don't read. Yeah. You understand? And the fact that we don't read, I remember where I come from. We have a crisis now in my country, and the mm. crisis began because of the fact that I'm from a bilingual country, French and English, the French the, the French are dominant and they're actually dominating all the English speaking people. What country are you from? And I actually told my mom, Cameroon, you can look that mm -hmm. up, the Anglophone crisis. So I told mm -hmm. my mom that our forefathers who negotiated for independence and reunification actually sold us out. 
she hated me for that. But I'm glad because my mom, at the age of 50, she went back to school, all right? And when she went back to school, she read history for the first time and found out facts for herself. And she mm. came and she actually apologized. So I think one of the problems is that people... Yeah, wow. She actually apologized. You're telling me like, you had a black mother apologize to you? Of course. That, that, of course. that don't happen much. <laughs> You must be special. Like, you got some powers, man. You must be special. That, like, that don't happen very often. Just because most, what many people get is from anecdotes. That's a problem. Yeah. Okay. So the history or most of the things that people hear are from anecdotes. It's not based on what they've read. It's not based on what they've searched on their own. I'm someone who is very erudite. I'm a PE teacher by profession and a volleyball coach, but I read a lot. Mm. Even though I do research, I agree a lot. And one thing that I know, and which you are very correct, is even the African Americans living in the US do not even know their history. At all. That's the truth. Yeah. Most of their own history is based on listening on short clips on YouTube, on Instagram, yeah. not fact checking. I always tell people that if you have, if you heard something, the least you could do is fact check. Yeah. That's all. Fact check with like three or four sources and see if those sources tie with what you've done. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, someone has just said people don't just care about history. But of course, yeah. realities always take us back to history. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, I, I appreciate you sharing that with us, brother. Um, it, it's very meaningful um, that we learn our history. Um, I yeah. would encourage everyone in the comments please uh, tap like, tap like. Um, hopefully we can uh, get more value to y'all um, in having this discussion. The more you tap like, the more people will see the live. And um, brother, did you want to answer any of the questions above me? Um, can I, let me see. Um, can you read the first one? Something like it's blocking the first question. Uh, yeah, can interracial relationships be problematic? Well, like someone who just moved to the UK and um, dealing with a teach here in the UK, I just moved. One thing, I've not been here that long. One thing I, I first, what I felt before, before moving to the UK was, into, what I felt is what I felt was interracial marriages or um, albinism. Is it albinism? No, I'm a metissage, like mixture between white and black. That's bringing what they call a Métis French. Mm -hmm. I used to think that that could, I thought, in my opinion, that was a solution to racism. Okay? Wow. But then, when I moved here, what I noticed was, amongst the kids I teach, the most angry, those who are usually very angry, are those who are, who are mixed. Mm. I, because on both sides, it's really an issue. I yeah. saw that for my own because sometimes, you know, when the, on the white side, most of the white side don't really accept them as white. Mm. And on the black yeah. side either, on the black side either, there's a problem no, well, that's a little bit that's a little bit more nuanced. They might not accept them in your tribe, um, depending on where you're from. But um, in my tribe, uh, we do accept um, our biracial brothers and sisters as black. That's, um, that, that's what but, I'm saying. That that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that from what I've seen, I might be wrong. We, the, I might only be wrong time, the only time we don't is when they show anti-blackness, which we don't accept monoracial black people when they show anti-blackness, such as Candace Owens and Kanye West. Um, uh, we 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 don't want them at our cookout. But uh, you know, it when it when it comes to uh, the construct of race, the way it was invented. The purpose it was invented for was to keep um, all other people out of um, the vicinity of white or the proximity of white people. So, um, that for example, they call us colored. They call us uh, people of color, right? They call us people yeah. of color. So what are they? People without color. And that in itself, those two names let you know what racism was made to do. To exactly. keep color out of their community and um that's why uh they they're the people without color because color is what makes you 
uh, vilified. Color is what subjugates you. Um, and they're on top because they're without color. But, um, you know, I hear what you're saying. Definitely glad you don't believe that uh, interracial relationships are the solution to racism because racism is a white problem that was exactly. invented by Europeans. And uh, it's it's really, really bad to say the solution to a problem invented by me is for you to have sex with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I make a problem. I make race an entire issue. And now I'm going to tell you the only way to stop it, you got to have my kids. Exactly. You know, that's horrible. <laughs> so. About the, uh, the other yeah. one, about fetishism, many people might not believe these, but what I know, um, I was having this great conversation with one of my classmates, is Caucasian, because I, I, don't, I don't call them white people, I call them Caucasians. So I said, um, bro, you know, you guys need to really have a lot of kids because many of them are always shocked when I said my dad had four wives. Okay, my dad had kids with four women. We were women just talking about non-monogamy. Yeah, and we're over before. 16 of us. We're yeah. over 16 of us. My father, my father had, he had over 16 of us. And here, if you look at the dynamics here in where I where I am in the UK, the the the, the, the Caucasian population is gradually phasing out because they don't have so many kids. Mm. They don't have so many kids. The those who are of the aging population is more like the aging population is more. The workforce of the Caucasian population is yeah. very small Obi, and limited. Obi, I don't mean to cut you off, man, but you're going too far off topic. I, oh. I I love to have these conversations, so I'm gonna follow okay. you. Thank you very okay. much, but you, okay, you're bro. going too far off the topic. We gotta keep on the topic so okay. other people can talk. Okay, no problem. Uh, I appreciate, I appreciate, bro. I appreciate. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk you. again. So I follow. I followed you, man, and feel free to come back up. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Take okay, care. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Um, I'm gonna go to the next guest, DB Cooper. Could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? D.B. Cooper. D.B. Cooper. You're muted. Hello, hello. Can you hear us? D.B. Cooper, you have a picture of a cow. I don't know what's going on with your, with your mic. Can you hear us? All right. I guess not. I'll go to the next person. You can come back up if you want. Um, everybody down there in the comments, please tap like, tap like. Let's get to 15K likes in the next five minutes. Just keep tapping, keep tapping like. Uh, tap like up here so no menu pops up as you listen along. Just, you know, press the tap. I mean, uh, press like, press like. And uh, when we get to 15K likes, I'll keep the comments on. Thank you very much. Silver Vixen, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? Hey there, I'm uh, a trace. So uh, I'm 46. I'm Blasian, and I'm a she/her. Um, Blasian's not a race. Well, I mean, it's it, it's a combination of two different races, and they're made up. So yeah. <laughs> so you is. make up your own version of um, a category of oppression. So then I am part african and part asian people call those blasian africa and asian two continents cool exactly um so when you're in the social construct of race and you have a black parent that means that you would default to black wonder yeah, why Negro you wouldn't is on my want birth to certificate. Do... Ooh, watch the words Ooh. why that's literally on my birth certificate um, where were you born? When were you born? I just told you I'm 46. <laughs> my goodness. That's literally on my birth certificate. Yeah. Well, let's not say that word on this live. Oh, okay. And my um, bad. let's go buy the race on your birth certificate and stop trying to I don't find ways to not I do that. I flew through the world as a black Ooh. woman. Right. So then why didn't you say but that? I because I was raised by my Asian mother in an Asian community. Yeah, but you're still a black woman raised by Asian people. That doesn't change the fact but that I'm you're like, black. 
And it also doesn't diminish your Asianness by being black. There are so black the people in Asia. So I mean, but I just I am a black woman raised by Asian people. I understand. Right, that. yeah. But you could have just said black then. Because I just I wouldn't Your culture is something mother. else, but if you got a black so parent, one at a time, brother. Is this one at a time? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh I'll give y'all a chance to speak in a moment. Well, I mean, I didn't really want to get into like my heritage. I know. I just wanted to I, the I just I just think, you know, when I ask the age race pronouns, people come up with such creative answers. Everybody's so creative. But it's like, <laughs> come on now. Let's just, just just like let's just get through it, you know? Um, well, I think the difference between uh -huh. people who are not half white like biracials who are not half white is that they have the ability to claim all of their heritage and culture. Whereas if I was half white, I would not be able to say I'm white. Like I am definitely not going to be white if you're half white, but I am Asian and I am black. If that makes sense. I don't know if I was half getting this. I don't think that's how it works at all. I mean, it is. It's hard to con conceive for somebody no, who it's not. grow up in those. It's, it's race no, versus no, culture. It's not, it's talking about race. I'm talking about culture. Read a book. Yeah, she keeps going to culture, and uh, well, no one is no one is, is like half of a race. The way race works like is you're in, one thing. You're not half job. of a half. Well, of I a, understand in the confines of like the social construct of like before. Don't so try to reimagine it because it's built to oppress. Don't try to reimagine. A pum pum to make it pink so that it's pretty because I'm you not like reimagining pretty, anything. Before you know what I'm saying? Like slavery, it's a did weapon. Did any Africans call themselves the blacks before slavery? Were there the people, the whites? Were they the yellows, the reds? Yeah, there the were blacks? there were people. Um, look up Ahmed Bob, Ahmed Baba the Black. Um, look up uh, the uh, ancient Kemet and the meaning behind that word. Look up the goddess Moot. Um, and they called look, themselves the black people. Uh, they did. Uh, well, there were, there were, there were, there were, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There were people that called themselves black. Look up Nubia and how that was synonymous with, uh, the color black as well. Um, but we can get into that another time. Sure. Um, yes, sir. it is, it is also in the context in which we're speaking, a tool used to oppress people. We don't reimagine that. We don't try to change it so we can be less of the color no one wants to be. And we just own it and be proud of it because our ancestors were. So if you're a black person, it doesn't matter what your culture is. It doesn't matter how your mama raised you. That is cool. But you're a black sister. That's just the end of it. Like you, I have no problem being called black. Your anti-blackness black. is showing. And no. when you do that... No, it is. It is. It By is. identifying my, you asked me my race. You I didn't ask you your culture, though. And well, that's where you're getting is, confused. Is, so are Asians not a, considered a race? They are. But when you have a black okay. parent, so you, you, we didn't ask what your mother's called. We didn't ask what your mother's race were. You're not Asian. You black. I can't be like only one. Parent. Yes, you can. You are only one. You're not. Two people in one body. You are but one it's person. Exact, you are no, not but like coffee and milk mixed together dad. in the same cup. You are coffee with milk. That's it. In one cup. You are coffee and milk in one cup. That is called coffee with milk. You're not half coffee, half milk in a cup. It doesn't work that way. So how like, is, you're one is that race. not diminishing? You don't think that's diminishing? It's not diminishing because it's the truth. You have one race. Two I can see if I were half two white, ethnicities. You can't You're not diminishing anybody by being a black person. That is, I weird, am a black bro. person. I already said I was a black person. But Stop you asked doing me that. My Stop race. doing that. Stop doing that. Because you said you was a Blasian person. Stop it. I am. Don't I'm lie also, on my. Don't lie on my black, live. I am you Asian, said Blasian. I, I asked you what you were. You said Blasian. Right. Because you asked. You're me a black race. person. I'm and you both. were raised in Blasian culture, if you want to call it that. I wasn't even but raised in Blasian culture. I was person. fully raised in my mother's culture. So you're raised in Asian culture, but you're a black woman. That's what I said. No, it's not. You said Blasian. No, you asked me my race, and that's what I told and, you. And you didn't answer with your race. You answered with your culture. Mm, so Asia's not a culture, just like Africa's not a culture. Oh, my God. Right? She's doing it again. I, well, who said your mom didn't I just have a wanted culture? To move on to the question. You're going to culture and we're talking about race. Why the hell do you keep saying Asians on a culture when all I asked you was your race? 
And I told you. No, you didn't. You said blazing. You said your race. culture. You said it's your culture. It's literally a race. It's you literally a race. You said your culture. You said your culture. No, my culture is tough. You're not Asian, though. <laughs> I am just as Asian as I am black. No, you're not. No, Actually, you're not. Actually, probably No, you're not. More. You're a black person raising Asian culture. That's cool. How do you not But I just came to answer your other questions. All right. So I want you to do some research on hypodescent and how it correlates with the race social construct and then come back up here. Sure. When you find out you're black. It's called hypo, hypo, H-Y-P-O. I didn't come here to talk about my race. I, I know, answer but your I came up, but, but you're talking about race and someone that ignorant can't participate in this conversation. In this conversation. I'm sorry. Bye. All right. Going on to the next person, Dope, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? Yeah, man. Um, why you a prejudiced dude with an identity crisis, and you got a fetishization. All right, Paul, Paul, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? Paul, Paul, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? Yep, trying to unmute. Sorry. Okay. 47 black he him. All right. Uh, and go ahead. Answer a question for us. Can interracial relationships be pro problematic? Any relationship can be problematic. Those have their own layer of problems. So, yeah, any relationship is problematic, and interracial relationships are problematic. The race issue will be part of the problems you deal with. Does that mean you don't deal with it? You don't deal with the problem if you fall in love with somebody with the wrong, with the, uh, of the opposite race? Well, yes. Uh, and, and is your relationship problematic? All relationships are problematic. Uh, listen to this. I was Mine married isn't. for 14 years. My relationship is not problematic to anyone. My wife's family loves me. My children know who they are. Um, well, they will, you know, I'm working on that, but you know, my, uh, family knows who my wife is. They fully accept her. Um, I don't see any problems to be honest. We're not toxic. I can't remember the last time I argued with, um, my wife, to be honest. Um, our bills are paid. Um, we make good money. We work from home. Um, we eat healthy. We go out, um, at least once a week. Um, we go to a fancy restaurant. Um, I don't know. You said every relationship is problematic. I don't know. Well, every relationship has the potential to be problematic. Every relationship has problems. Even though yours is going well, it doesn't mean problems problematic don't Problematic is a term that usually is involving Consistent? a counterproductive, a, 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 something that's counterproductive to the goal of a group. So when we're talking about feminism, right, um, mm -hmm. misogyny would be problematic. If we're talking about black people in the black community, racism would be problematic. So we're not talking about an individual's. If we zoom in only to just how the people feel, then, yeah, anything on earth, every TV show, every food you eat, everything is problematic in that sense. But when we're talking about race, we're talking about groups of people. And in race, there are things that are problematic to certain people uh, in certain groups. So, for example, um, if grandma likes to say the N-word because she, did, she didn't update her vocabulary from when she was a little girl and she calls her granddaughter the N-word, that would be problematic and distinct to interracial relationships. I think it's weird when we come up here and try to dilute the conversation to include everything in the world that could be problematic. I'm talking about interracial relationships and how they can be problematic. If you think they can be problematic at all, just say yes. Why do you have to dilute the conversation in order to make a point? You could just say yes and keep it pushing because they can be. If they can, they can. Some people, believe it or not, don't think they can be. And that's why that question is there first. Okay, so to answer everything you just said, can interracial relationships be problematic? The answer is yes. But my the point, the larger point that I was making, and you clarified that, so you 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 narrowed the conversation. I get that, but if you're looking at two different races, let's say um, 
you know, there are a number of things that could be problematic, right? Like you said, for example, male, female, okay, two opposite sexes, that's problematic. But we're sp talking specifically about interracial relationships. I think we've already established that it can be problematic, just like any other differences between the couple can see, be See how you're going? Now you're diluting again. Anything I, on earth can saying. be problematic. No, no, My TV any is problematic. But wait a minute, anything you're not. Anything can be problematic. <laughs> that's like, not what I'm saying. Man. We're talking that's about what, what between saying. races. But, Whenever but something is problematic between races, does it uh, does it um, promote, incite, or diminish anti-blackness? Is it something that helps black people, or is it problematic to our cause? It's problematic. Is it something? And 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 unless you want to come up here and talk about the. Uh, the uh, problems of those that benefit are uh, or have privilege in the race social construct, which would be weird, where you should know just by reading that question what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, so, so here's the thing, though. The way you're framing it and the way your questions are listed is not the same thing. You're saying, okay, interracial relationships are problematic. Let's talk about why. That's a different framing from can an interracial relationship be problematic the answer no, is you could have just answered yes. the question you could have just said yes and kept it pushing you see what i'm yes, saying because but, you're but saying you yes also said, and but then you're this. saying well the same way a flower is problematic but here's the thing the though bees. here's the thing and it's like bro you're doing if you took out brother if you took out the word interracial from that question wouldn't this, the answer still be yes if you put in almost any no it wouldn't uh, it would be yes word to your there. toxic ass but it wouldn't be for me can relationships be problematic yes they can be I agree with the that. word is can problematic for who the potential is the potential there for problems yes no can a relationship no, be problematic no, yes no no but see that's diluting the conversation again the question is, can interracial relationships be problematic? We're talking about this group of people and this group of people. Interracial, right? So that means between right. two and different the races. Yes. So can then it what's be the next problematic? Question? Can there be problems that arise specifically because of interracial relationships in black community or in an Asian community, in an indigenous community? Can there be problems? Stop diluting would, the conversation I would, I would, to I include change. Inter, just include relationships. You don't have to take a word out of the question. Okay, you can, can I just get a answer word the in? question as it is written and have half a brain. I don't know. Inter interracial relationships will be problematic. Not even can. Will be. It's absolute. The oh, answer is yes, yes every time, I All think. Right. So let's move on because I don't know how you're confused there. Let's keep going. I've been doing this live for a year. You're the only one that's got confused up there. Keep going. I'm not confused. Uh, I think uh, clarification is what we're talking about. I, I'm not you're confused the only one that needed this clarification. I've been doing this live for a year. Do you understand? Go on my YouTube and you'll see how many people is it have answered this question. Or fed a, fed a, it's almost like uh, instead of getting to the point, you want to argue about it. Like you argue with the lady with her um, identity. But if we're getting to the question, uh, I've, I've agreed that it is, it can be problematic. So the question is, the, the next question is uh, preference or fetish? You know, it could be either. Sometimes it is preference, and for some people it is a fetish, because if you have grown up and been seeing images of this other group that you haven't um, been able to uh, uh, connect with in some way, and maybe you find some things that you like about that group then sure it, it might be a bit of a fetish to want to experience that some people let's say grew up with it and you know while they're growing up there are people of all races in their neighborhood etc might just be a preference right so is it a preference or oh my fetish? god i knew you were going to go there too? let me on guess hold situation. on hold on hold on hold on hold on situation yes i'm going to guess this your answer to number three is yes Yes. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm on fire tonight, yo. Hey, keep tapping like, y'all. Keep tapping like. Keep tapping. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Man, I already know what's happening right now. Let me ask you a question. Y'all are not going to gaslight me in them comments. Y'all are not going to gaslight me. Keep tapping like. We already know what we got right here. 
We know okay, exactly brother, brother legend. Down, right? Let me ask you a question. Hey, man, you say? hey, salute to you, brother. You, you, you. At least you keep it consistent, man. Well, hold you know on. What I'm let me ask you a question. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Uh huh. Do you think uh, that Dave Chappelle is pro black? No. Mm -mm. You don't think Dave Chappelle is pro black? No. Absolutely. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. In that case, if we if we uh, in that case, then we I guess we just need to define what pro black means to you. Pro black means having a black spouse. Values, is that part of the, the definition best of building the black community? The best interest of building the black community. Prioritizing one's actions and values with what's in the best interest of building the black community. And that still leaves room. For somebody to be pro-black who is in an interracial relationship, why would why no, would you say that they're not no, prioritizing? Because I said you skipped the first word, prioritizing. Do you prioritize your spouse or do you prioritize the black community? How could um well see you're trying to paint me into a corner and the fact is everything's not, not black and just, white I because no but listen wait a minute let me listen let me let me answer my question let me answer your question prioritize your spouse let me answer your question prioritize your community. I prioritize both because I have You can't prioritize from my... both because Brother, let's say let's Won't say... you let me finish my sentence? How about let me finish my sentence? Here's how I prioritize both and here's why, sir. Because I was married to a black woman for 14 years and I have four black children. So yes, I have to prioritize my my community. I'm married to a Filipino woman and yes, I do prioritize her. I have to prioritize both. That's the bottom line. You can't have and two priorities. Eventually, they both clash. You can't have two priorities. You can't have two priorities. No. Have to take that's not. That's yeah. not what adulting One is, sir. One has to take precedence, and you know that. Adulting. Adulting. Uh, uh, no. No. Because that, that, there's going to be an there's going to be an intersection where they both meet, and you have to choose one or the other. Well, if I bring her into my community. I feel like I'm still prioritizing my community. I'm yeah. prioritizing my wife as an individual. No, but you're not prioritizing the black community. You chose a Filipino woman instead of a black woman. And I'm not saying that's anything wrong with you choosing who you love, but you can't say you're pro-black if you're literally married to a Filipino woman, respectfully. That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no hey, sense. Hey, man, I need and, some and help listen, with this live. I don't let people interrupt, but I appreciate you because this live No, but she's, she made crazy. a good point. She made a good point. Oh, now she made a good point. Okay, so but no, listen, I, one but thing I got I something to say about, about her point is that certain people won't listen to certain people. Like certain sisters cannot hear things from a brother, and certain brothers can't hear things from a brother either. Like certain, so I've had white people come up on my live and talk to brothers and and get across the same message I'm trying to get across, but we're just like like coded to listen to certain people. It's it's a thing. But go ahead, sister. Uh, I, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns? I'm 31, she, her, and I'm black. Um, All right, go ahead. So I agree with everything that, like, your thought process, basically. I've been following you for a while now, but I do believe, even though I am biracial, like, black and white, I do believe interracial relationships are problematic. I don't think you could be pro-black with a non-black spouse, and a lot of people give me, like, shit for it because I'm, my mom is white, but I do feel how I feel. Um, as far as, like, preference or fetishization, that is, I can't say it right, fetishization. Um, there, to me, there is a difference because if you're dating somebody because of proximity issues, then okay, okay, like I get it. But for you to say that you only date someone based on their phenotype, like their physical features, you have a fetish. And that is an issue. Um, can black and white cultures fully coexist in a healthy? Um, I don't know. I mean, in my experience, it hasn't gone well as far as black and white cultures fully coexisting in a healthy relationship. Um, so I would say no, me personally. So okay. think... All right. Um, I, I would disagree with that last one. I would say yes, that's yeah. Okay. I, of course you would. I know. I know exactly what's happening with you, man. Why I know is it that exactly you won't let me? Is. I know. Why yo, is it that you won't let me finish my yeah, sentences? Yeah. Though I don't understand. So you don't want me to talk? <laughs> Nah, we just know how you gonna rock, bro. You not, and then you gonna turn around and say you prioritize the community, but you gonna Excuse answer me. every question against the community. Like but, you but have listen. shown us 
You like you like um a Republican. You like to talk over people and don't like, let them get their point across. Racist, though. But then they do everything and agree to every law that is racist. Like that's like you. Like you're just on this side of the court, but saying you're on this side. It's it's, it's hilarious, bro. So 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 you say, but again. You don't let people get their full point across. You like to cut off. You like to talk over. But I let I you talk multiple times, and you ain't say nothing but Hellman's. I just have a question for you. Uh, okay, well, there's no point in talking to you then. Go ahead. But, Papa, What's I have a question questions? for you. Like, So do you tell your kids like they're black or they're black and Filipino? Like, What, what do they say? My children are black because my ex-wife is black. Oh, okay. You, the way you made it seem was like that you have. No, I said I was married for 14 years. I have four black children. And I, but but I couldn't fully get my sentence out. Uh, uh, I have I've been married for 14 years. I have four black children. OK, extremely pro black. OK, uh, I'm remarried. My current wife is Filipino. And, and let me finish my thought, brother legend, before you start rolling your eyes and talking over me. Let me finish my thought. First of all, you just. Uh, uh, admonish the young lady for saying she's black and Asian if she's only black. Okay, fine. Now let's take that thought process and let's take it to the Philippines, which is an archipelago of 7,000 islands, 500 of which are inhabited, where my wife is from, the island of Negros. Listen up, brother legend. The island of Negros, because that's what- Don't, the, don't keep saying that Spanish. word. You're on TikTok. No, but listen, that's what- No, that's a that's the name of an island. That's the name of I the island. I don't care. On TikTok, they don't know that. Okay, uh, but but that's that's different from the other N word, bro. That's that's just a Spanish word that means black. I don't black. say any of that word or anything related to that word up here. That's the only reason okay. I said that. But I'm letting We're, you talk, so go ahead. Gotcha, just don't gotcha. Focus on that. My point is that when the when the Spanish came up and and uh, colonized that place, they called that island that name because there were black people on that island, and so my wife as i see it is a black woman okay yeah she's filipino but she's black and the original black aborigines from filipinos are still there my guy yeah black people all over the world sir all over the world and um then and her nationality is Filipino or what? Her, her nationality is Filipino. She was born in Philippines. What I'm telling you is, so then, where she's so then, from so then, so is then, an island so of then, black people. So then, why does why is there a Pacific Islander? Why is there AAPI? What like what is that then? They're not. Uh, they're classified as Asian as far as race. Oh, I'm trying to okay. Tell you. So she's not black. She's Asian. Race wise, on her birth certificate, it says Asian. Yeah, okay, but so let me, she's let me Asian. ask you this. All right, so she's Asian. She's Asian. All, mm -hmm. that, all that matters is what the people that invented the construct of race call them. Oh, cool. So now it doesn't matter that there's one drop. Now it doesn't matter. No, no, one drop uh, matters if you have a black parent or you know something like that. But she don't have that. So she's black Asian. great 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 grandparents don't count. She's Asian. Asian, you have. Do you know what race is based off your phenotype? So, like, I'm confused. You, you're saying that she's still, a, My, but she's black. Okay. And, okay. So, you guys want to talk about phenotype? You want to talk about? Um, if you look at the I phenotype of Filipinos, that. there's a I, lot that, of black. Whenever them. you say that, sister, you back yourself into a corner. I never say that. Um, but let's forget phenotype. Treatment because... and and hold on. Now I let you talk. Treatment and profiling prejudice is based on phenotype. Um, phenotype is not the only identifier in what race you are. Um, ancestry, continental ancestry is also a big role in that. So even if you have brown skin, if you are not from or have ancestors 10,000 years ago from the continent of Africa, you're not black. That's how that works. Um, so the uh, the Aboriginal Australians are not black. The black Jews in uh, Israel and Palestine are not black. Um, I, I don't understand the the original Brazilians. They're not black. Uh, the original but, Brazilians. What are you talking? We are about? Aboriginal. Um, the original okay, ones that were so there now, prior to now the Spanish coming, prior you, to the Portuguese but, but going there. You, all right. I can. I. I mean, you're throwing so much bullshit at me at once, and it's like I don't know how to like. I just literally got to just debunk everything you just said now. And then when I do that, you're going to say I'm talking over you. So 
how are we going to do this? Because I could just give you a book, The Destruction of Black Civilization by Chancellor Williams, which clearly outlines, I mean, he did the archaeological research himself. Um, he was a whole doctor who dedicated his life to um, spreading awareness about the continent of Africa to black people. His book was assembled with hundreds of scholars. Um, you can look it up yourself. Make the point, though. Point are you making? Who black people are and where we come from. And none of them said Philippines. So I hear what you're saying that no, black all people, people are did all over the world, from sir. Africa. See how you cut me off now? We started out in the Nile Valley. We're you, all over the you world. I said a lot of bullshit. And I said, if I'm going to unpack it all, you're going to have to shut up now. So real quick. Why well, you got to be rude, though? All black. I'm not being rude. Shut no. up is not rude. It might be rude to you. You got to shut the hell up. I'm talking. Like, what am I supposed to do? Listen. Listen. How about that? I'm not telling listen you is, no. Listen is much more polite than shut up. Okay. Let's try right. that. Good All job. Right. Listen, listen the hell up. So if uh, someone is not from the continent of Africa going back 10,000 years, then they're not black. If your ancestors 10,000 years ago were on the continent of Europe, you are European, um, if you have that phenotype. Um, if 10,000 years ago, uh, except they're actually, to be honest, um, that Europe kind of gets weird. It was 8,000 years ago when they got started um, with their whole thing. But anyway, um, Asia, 10,000 years ago, if your ancestors would be on that continent, then cool, you're Asian. Um, if 10,000 years ago, your ancestors were in, Af in Africa, cool. Um, if you came here before Columbus and you've been here for at most, 2,000 years, that does not mean you are no longer black because you are still, um, your ancestry is still traced back to the continent. So, but when you're talking about the indigenous Brazilians, um, you have to also remember that their haplogroup is mostly associated with the East Asians that crossed the Bering Strait. So if that's who you're talking about, now if you're talking about um, the people that came over from Africa before Columbus um, and landing in Brazil, then um, we could talk about that. But uh, That's what I'm talking about. And we're, we, yeah, like, but that was only a little 2, 000, far to go, isn't it? Yeah, but that was only 2,000 years before Columbus. So. That's what I'm saying. This was only about 2,000 years ago. The first, what about the Moors in Europe? You're talking about 10,000 years out. There are black people in Europe 3,000 years ago. Can you remind me where the Moors are from? The Moors are black. But where are they from? From Africa. All right, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, what the hell, bro? Stop playing with me, man. You're, you're talking Stop about 10,000 years. Me. This Stop is only smooth of 3,000 years ago. You're talking about 10,000 years. And you're going to bring up some Africans Bruh, and say that, well, You're talking about 10,000 years. Africa. Okay, so you don't like, so what are you you don't like when about, the facts though? don't. What are you, you don't talking like when the facts, about, though? So you're, you said 10,000 hey, years. Hey, man. hey, hey, look, man. Look, it's bro. two to 3,000 hey, years man. ago in Europe, there were black people there. That's my point. You're talking about 10,000 years. I'm going to call you That's Wave Chappelle, man. That's what I'm going to call you, bro. You're Wave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? You're Wavy Dude, bro. I'm not wavy. I'm going up. with the facts, man. You just want the facts to fit nah, your, bro, you um, what you're saying. No, you ain't one fact since you've been up here. You've just been trying to dilute the conversation to now we're talking about ancient history, pre-colonization, where there was no record. That's not 10,000 years ago, my God. That is not 10,000 years ago. Of Brazil, because you that can't is not ten thousand years ago. That your wife is not a black woman from Philippines, bro. Like we're in some whole other reality right now because you're trying to make an Asian woman black on my live, bro. It's crazy, bro. Just that's that's interesting that I said that black, fifteen minutes ago, and you're still a black on man. it. No one said we're still you talking about black Europe. Man. We just said you dating an Asian person does not make you pro black, bro. And you just gonna have to live with that, man. I, hey, bro, you just gonna have to live with that, son. I don't know what to tell you. Have a nice day, my goodness. Oh, he was annoying. I'm moving on. We're talking about pseudoscience, trying to figure out how to fit this Asian woman into the diaspora. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, I don't know what's happening right now. That was crazy. Y'all be doing the most, man. Uh, what's going on, Speak? This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I cannot I believe what the crazy. hell I just listened to. I don't know what Black Jesus, help us please. 
Please help us. Because they are lost in the sauce. They are lost in the goddamn sauce. Yeah. Um, thank you uh, for, for that, brother, because we definitely lost. Um, the next person I'm going to go to, uh, I think it's uh, Uwa. Uh, is it Uwa? <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm, I'm 40. Yeah, I'm 40. I'm full-blown. <laughs> Um, African Bantu, precisely. I just go hey. straight to the point and shout out to the um, Bantu sisters. Great conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the education that is happening here because our people need to get schooled, and you're doing so much. Uh, I think people need to literally <laughs> pay for those classes because they they have no idea the type of education they're getting in here. I've literally wow. been on the comment section. I've been laughing like crazy. I think people should keep tapping, you know, like, I don't know why we're at 30K. We should be like at 100 because this conversation needs to spread to more people. We, we need a lot of black people to understand that there's something wrong. There's, we're living in an illusion um, I literally had, I have been paying a lot of price. Um, I literally decided to quit dating, you know, uh, when I discovered there was something wrong with our men and our mm. women, like I just, I grew up, I grew up, you know, just being this third parent at a very young age. Uh, I had like six younger brother, uh, siblings, three brothers, three sisters. And I literally had parents that were hustlepreneurs. They were, they were never available. So I had to grow up too fast as a young kid. And so I just had so many questions about what was going on. Cause I saw the programming. I saw how people just like, like I saw how, how people don't pay attention to a lot of things. And this was literally why I started researching about who we really are mm -hmm. and what the problem is. Mm -hmm. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And then when I started dating, when I started dating, I've been in your life before. I think I, I shared once before uh, my, my ideology about, you know, this whole interracial thing. Mm -hmm. I used to think it was a good thing um, because I, I saw uh, domestic violence as a thing that I needed to address. And I felt like, oh, it was going to be better in the other side. My goodness. Um, I didn't even need to go that far to understand that no way I need to stick back home. Right. Yeah. And, but then I've been doing my research. Um, and I think there's just, um, there's, there's a, there's a mind control that has been put in us, you know, and mm -hmm. I think maybe one of the reasons why we're, how we are today, maybe it's because of something I have just researched and I think, uh, it's called the Epic um epic implants i call it the epic implants because it's called the uh, epigenetic inheritance code so for some reason we've been wired to you mm -hmm. know flow with trends not really understand things mm. you know, because everybody's doing it pop cultures are now trending so people don't understand people don't research mm. once somebody's doing it and they're getting something i'm just gonna do it so mm -hmm it's just literally left a lot of us really messed up and I'm just glad you're having this conversation. You know, I, I literally told myself I was not going to date nobody. I, like two years ago, I just quit dating, you know, mm. um, I was like, I, I needed to do some self soul searching. I needed to like really, cause I gave myself a target. I wanted to start the whole new life thing at 40. It, it, it really was stupid for me to do that but um i live in africa right and people mm -hmm. are always like oh you need to come over to live in america and i'm like no i, I like it here i like it here i, I don't want to get food poisoned because i really don't like any of the food you guys have over there i'm sorry mm -hmm. but i think i like my food here i like to plant my food i have a little farm you know so i think I, i'm very healthy here and you know i've just been like enjoying and flexing life. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Um, I want to try some things. For example, I want to see what it feels like to, to um, understand the dynamics of being a loser. Like I've literally 
been living the soft life for all my life but i wanted to see the other side of life so i started playing with some ideologies i started procrastinating i started doing some very interesting mind games and mm. i started doing the opposite you know the reverse uh repatterning for me the reverse psychology for me was literally one thing i started doing so everything the media says i i want to do the other and say okay you know what i think they're saying something else because i just knew that there was a mind control going on Mm. And I've discovered things, I'm not even going to lie, I've discovered that we've been lied to for a long time. And I think the reason why a lot of our brothers who don't understand that we need to really promote the community, work um, tirelessly to get things together, is because um, we believe them so much. I think that's the problem. We're so trusting. We we accept everything that has been given to us. We don't question anything, even when the, when we see the oppression going on. You know why that is? We see so, so many things ain't working. Like I don't know, but we're just so trusting, and I think it's time for us to wake up. Like like to wake is. up because we, uh, we have to Amos, wake up. Doctor Amos Wilson talks about this in the Blueprint for Black Power where he says that oh. um, basically um, because we were raised in survival mode, um, oh. uh, basically uh, our ancestors had to live one day at a time um, that we don't think long term. So when you're not thinking long term, you're not thinking about tomorrow, your future, your future generations, oh. um, when you're not thinking in uh, decades and centuries for where your people are going to be, um, you only think about the moment and uh, whatever Ooh. satisfies the moment for you. So that's the part of the instant reason. gratifications. Yeah, the instant yeah. gratifications. Because I get, I get that. Yeah, I think everybody is just on the survive. You're, you're 100 percent correct. And I, I think we just need to understand that we have time to do whatever. Um, I think we just need to kill the hustle vibe because I feel that's what takes us to doing things that we don't need to do. Um, this conversation, I literally had this conversation with um, a very interesting live session we had. It was two two weeks back, uh, and we were in this space where this German lady was literally setting up the space and just making Amen do crazy things on her life. It was literally the most disgusting thing I've seen. I, I don't just want to go into the details, but it was really crazy. Mm. Um, you know, I saw Amen hop into this life, and they were told to back like dogs to join a life. You know, and and they were literally doing that, and it yeah. was like, oh my god, what what is this? Like, so yeah. I, I don't I don't know why we're like this, but we need to bring back our self love. I think we lack it. I think mm -hmm. this is why we're looking for so much validation from other people when we really have it within us. So I, yeah. I think the whole thing really needs to come. We need to bring it back home. Like you know, just love ourselves, and you know, be ready and proud. I mean, why are we so scared to just say we're Africans? Why are we I so know. scared to say we're black? <laughs> we know why. Other, like I don't. We need to we, do it. We gotta. We gotta <laughs> go to you. the next guest. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you right. so much. I really enjoyed us. Uh, yeah. I follow you as well. Peace. The sister was long winded. God <laughs> damn. We appreciate you though. Listen, y'all. Let's get to forty five k likes. There's a bunch of people in here. We had five hundred in here at one point. If everybody taps the screen and you fill up the red bar in the top left corner two times. That'll get the likes up. Everybody tap the screen. Make sure y'all share the live and y'all gift the host. Gift the host. Gift the host. Gift the goddamn host and tap the screen. Yeah, right. yeah. Thank you, Speak. Um, oh boy, somebody up there again. Wow, I don't know how to. It's not me. When you jump on the panel, you have to mute immediately because you distort the feed. But make sure y'all mute. Uh, gotcha. I think the name is up there. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead, gotcha. Gotcha, eight. <laughs> gotcha, you hear? I think he's gone. Doesn't nah, I see him still in the panel. Mute and unmute a few times. I don't know if he's trying to talk, but we can't hear anything. 
You sleeping? You sleepwalking like some of these black people? Is that what's going on? <laughs> you gotta unmute, no. man. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's up. I'm gonna keep it going. Uh, next guest, Miss Oblivion. Could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please, if you're here? I've never joined a live and just like left. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, I think the app is tripping again. Make sure y'all keep tapping the screen, man, because it's uh, it like be dropping people. Yeah, y'all tap yeah. the screen. Um, all right, I'm gonna bring yeah, people. I don't got nothing up. to say, but I, I came up here, you know, to help you moderate. But I heard the brother talking about some some shit with the Asian woman because I got here late, so I didn't hear everything. But that's crazy. How that do you try to crazy. sit here as a black man and speak? The way you speak, um, you just causing confusion and destruction. Just by way of how you talking, you sound like a goofy. That man was a big ass goofy. I'm sorry <laughs> to say, it, but god damn. Yeah, that was crazy. How you gonna say a Filipino woman is black just because you want to be pro black? That's crazy. And then he had to go back in the ancient time talking about um, back back in the day, you know white people got here and they thought that they were black so they called this island whatever they called it you know what i'm saying that's crazy bro you have to go back in the day um meanwhile her birth certificate say she asian um king could you give us your age race and pronouns please yeah uh my name is Ezra and uh the only wife i'm sorry uh what's your race uh black okay uh, go ahead. Uh, what, talk to us. What, why you have to ask my my race? Because we're talking about race. All right. So uh, what are you saying here? I'm sorry. What are you saying here now? Why do I what? What are you talking about? Talking about interracial relationships. Do you not know what we're talking about? Yeah. So exactly, you you know how to getting it or. What are you saying? What? I mean, you don't agree with someone uh, black uh, going to like uh, marry someone outside the race. Um, I think that's a very obtuse way to look at this conversation. We're more nuanced than that. We're talking about interracial relationships. We're not telling anyone who they should and shouldn't be with. So I think there is no, yeah, you know, there is no any problem like uh, inter uh, interracial relationship. I think it's all right. That's not one of the questions. Uh, I, I mean the first. So, the first, so the King, first, can I? Let me help you. Some. Let me help you. You see the questions. If you look on the screen, there's five. What is it? Four questions up there. You have to run down, go through the list, answer each question. All right, That's how this person. works. I don't know because you jumped in the panel and you talked talking the legend directly, but you got to go through the questions, like answer the questions. You understand? All right, the first, all right. The first one is okay. it, it, it is a uh, problematic, and uh, how it's gonna be a problematic? What do you think? What, what, how how do you think it's going to be like a problematic? How do you think? You mean like are we mean... living or like our women? I see mo most of us as black men, we we may uh, like we we getting in relationship with other race, uh, otherwise or black uh, women, they are not going into other race that much, uh, as much as we go. So do you think like uh, is a bad thing like we are leaving leaving our women and leaving them alone or something like that? Um, you keep asking me a question instead of answering the question your damn self. I say it does. It does not a problematic. I um, my answer is 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 not a problematic. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I said no. <laughs> what, what about you? I think that you should do some more thinking about these questions before you come up here on this platform, Mr. King. Yeah, I think so too, man. All right, so let me let me answer the questions. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, Ace. Give us yeah. your age, race, and pronouns. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Uh, King, you are stressing us the hell out, brother. <laughs> Everything you responded with is a question, two questions. You ain't making no sense. You have to literally answer the question for yourself. You can't come up here asking questions to questions. It makes no goddamn sense. <laughs> Bro, this is an issue. You just put the issue here and we have to discuss about it and See, you, you're gonna listen to my opinion. I'm gonna listen to your opinion, and and find what what you are, what is going on. All right. You didn't tell us your opinion though. You just said no. Yeah, I say it, no. It it does not a problem. It's just a human. Human. How how relation with ship with, with human? It doesn't matter like a, mm. a different race or something like that. It's not going to be a problematic. How it's going to be a problematic uh, with other race and. It's all right, Ace, go ahead, man. I couldn't he do left. it. I'm sorry. Nah, All right, I go ahead, Ace. We moving along. I can't do this shit. Hell yeah. no. So, <clears throat> one, yes. I, I don't think any of these are yes or no answers. But can interracial relationships be problematic? Sure. Depends on the situation that you're in, the people that you're around. Is it a preference or a fetish? I... Uh, both i Can think for black people black? no matter who you're around or who you're with if they're non-black it's going to be problematic they're non-black sure like i said i it, it depends on the situation that you're in the people that you're around can you not for black people not for black people though that's what you're saying yeah for black people don't matter who the hell you're around it's going to be problematic Okay. For the for for your community. And this is the second time I've been up on one of these platforms, and I got taken to school the other day. I I, I learned some things. Can you? Yeah, my, yeah. Uh, cause you say your name, age, and pronouns. I don't think we got that from you, oh, Mister Ace. Yeah, I'm you can't. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You, you bugging out. So. Go ahead, man. Can you be pro-black with? No, age, race, pronouns, bro. Oh, age, it said thirty-six race. biracial. Oh, okay. That's what's going on. So biracial is not a race. It's okay. a description uh, of my father your race. was African American. My, I didn't ask. See, that's that's before. you're doing the same thing as saying biracial. I, you're telling us what your parents did instead okay, of who black. you are. Okay, I'm so, black. Okay, cool. Okay, so can you be pro-black with a non-black spouse? No. I I I I learned some things about pro-black yesterday. I don't. I think the answer is no. I think simple no. Can black and white cultures fully coexist in a healthy relationship? Absolutely. I think that they can. I don't think that they do. I think they can. Okay. Do you think That's I can jump to the moon? No. <laughs> do you? Do I think you could jump to the moon? Wow, that's disrespectful. But I mean, if I could jump. If you think hard you're enough, keep trying, brother. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> theoretically, know, but no, no, I don't. If I could jump, it doesn't matter what I think. You keep trying if you think you can jump to the moon. No, but what I'm saying is, theoretically, if I jumped hard enough, if I could somehow figure out how to jump hard enough, could I not land on the moon? No. Interesting. Then why do you think I couldn't? I mean, science says have you, you, can. Have you have you have you never yeah, seen a man jump on the moon? moon. Yeah, What's but it? science is just a study of things that have happened already. You don't know what what I'm capable of. You haven't seen me jump. Well, come science on, science is you, disproven the every day by new things. We're all jump into the moon. What? I mean, if you're if you're trying to take me to school right now, then take me to school. I'm not taking. Right? Well, I'm just trying to I, highlight. I'm, not, uh, I'm, not, I'm trying I'm to highlight learning. a flaw in your ontology there. Um, basically. Um, in order to say that black and white cultures can fully coexist in a healthy relationship, but say that they can and that they haven't, your ontology is saying that despite all the context of history, um, it is technically possible. Why haven't for they? The coo what? So you're saying they haven't. You're saying that no black and white cultures coexist. Uh, in healthy relationships. Define I'm a white culture. Define past. define one. Define one. Define one 
thing about white culture. We I won't even go to um any like like just one thing. What do you want to, what do you want? Like what define I'm not gonna, one like thing said, like I'm like not do you want to talk about let, look, we're, we're gonna break down this conversation so that it don't go too crazy. Food, music, do you want to talk about art? What part of culture coexists with both black and white cultures? Peacefully, where they fully coexist. Like what what intersection? Where do they in food? Do you want to talk about food? Do you want to talk about religion? You want to talk about who they pray to? You want to talk about land? So, land, so, there, there are so geographical. I, I'm trying. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. How I answer this question? You're asking me these questions. Here I am. I, I'm black. I have a white spouse. I have children that are white skin. Society. I coexist with my family every day. Oh. My bad. Hold on. Hold on. My uh, my my wife turned on the car and the Bluetooth cut on, so I couldn't hear what you were saying. I think you said that you're black and you have a white spouse and that you two coexist, but I didn't say that can people coexist fully. And we can get into that because history still. Nah, but I'm talking about culture here. So I didn't even take it to the people part because I think that just okay. wouldn't be a problem. All right. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk right. about. Culture. So I said people, not cultures. You're right. You're you're probably all right. right. So now are we talking about food? Okay. Are we talking about food? Are we talking about art? Do we want to talk about music? Do you want to talk about fashion? Do you want to talk about um, how we speak? Do you want to like what do you want to talk about? Like what part of a culture fully coexists between black and white? No. Italian culture is not white culture. English culture, British culture is not white culture. French culture is not white culture. We're talking American about white culture. culture. I mean, we're talking about uh, all of them like, coming um, together um, and deciding um, that they were one identity and not their distinct cultures. We're talking about when they decided to come together to oppress other people. That's literally what they came together to do. We're talking about when they did that, when did they peacefully exist with those they literally invented the race of black and white they invented it to subjugate these people and take from them when did the two of them kumbaya i'm using that word wrong i know when did the two of them sit down and eat i'm using it wrong but i'm using it wrong intentionally when did the two of them sit down and have a thanksgiving meal and come together I want to know. I do it every Thanksgiving. Not talking about people, it's about cultures. Right. About okay, culture. but I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm trying, I'm, I, we live in America. The culture, where people oh, see, do the that. problem is with this question is that people are so used to, people are so desensitized to racism that they don't even understand that black and white are two uh, uh, categories in a caste system of oppression. They think of these as neutral categories. They think, oh, black is just black people and white is just white people. There is no such thing as black and white people. Literally, the idea of black and white people existing was to, to oppress people, to subjugate people. So we skip over this and we think it's just some neutral term, some neutral categories. No, this is racism. There will be no existing of black and white cultures as long as race is still a thing because it was designed to be anti-black. So I agree with that. Until the I agree day with that. when I say, let me, so let me tell you the scenario. Let me, me tell you the situation. And I say, what is Ace, black? you have to let the host talk. Or, Stop doing that. Stop cutting them off. Let them talk. Or until the day when I talk to someone and or or my my great 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 two thousand years from now, grandchild child says to someone that you're white, and the white person says, "Wait, uh, what? What does white mean? What do you, you mean? My clothes?" And they have no idea. Until that idea of race is erased from everyone's mind, these are two oppressive subgroups in a category of a caste system that was built to oppress black people. It so don't never, work no other way. So you've never seen that happen before? It don't happen. I white swear to God, white on culture everything I is, love. White culture is putting... Don't uh, bring God into this. White culture is putting... Don't um, bring God into this. White culture is putting Colonel Sanders on a fried chicken box and calling it white American food. White culture is is taking blues and country music 
and calling it uh, American music. White culture is taking America, the land, from other people and calling it what they want to call it, calling it theirs. White culture is taking people from their land and saying they're not African, that they're a color and they're American. Like they just put their stamp on anything they want to take. That's white culture. That's why it was created. Before that, they had different cultures in Europe. White culture was created for one purpose. And we skip over that answer. We skip over that question. And that's all the last question is highlighted. It's sad. All right, hold on. Uh, Ace, I need, I want to ask you a question. But before whoa, 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 I ask whoa, whoa, you a whoa. question. How, why wanna yeah, no, nope, no, nope. Ace, I'm a mod. I need you to calm down, sir. Hold on, I got a question for you. I'm very calm. But real quick, for the people in the comments, let's get to 65,000 likes, tap the screen, get the likes up. Ace, you swore to your God <laughs> that black and white cultures can exist. You literally just swore to your God. I want to understand can you give me two that's not what points I said. as to what no, hold on no i can't yes no, you can't. listen because, can you answer listen let me I ask you the question you swore to your saying. god that black and white cultures can that's fully coexist you just swore to your god that's with that said, said can you tell me two things that's two bulletins what is white culture what is that what's white culture what i said can you define white culture can you tell me two things that's um, under the umbrella of white culture, sir. Because you just swore I, to your God to while this man was times. talking. Did I just try to answer you three times? That's not what I said. So You're no, talking I, while I'm talking. You don't understand how a conversation works? You have to let me say what I need to say, and then you respond when I'm done. Can you answer that for me? Because you swore to your God something could happen. So can you break that down? Two things. What is white culture, and how the hell... Can question number four actually happen? Because you swore to your God that it can. You don't know what I said. Because that's not what I swore to my God. So your answer is no. Like I said, I'm not going to answer your question. You cut me off and then came at me sideways about how, how I swore to God. About you did swear to God, though. I'm cutting you off. You did swear I did. to God. You said, I you're, swear to God. Right. I see it every right. day. I do it every day. That's what you're, you said. No, 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 no. I, I was trying to sell us. I was trying to say something. And he cut me off. I will tell you what I was trying to say. We waiting on you. Yeah. Say what you need to say. We here. But we ain't like going I nowhere. Said, I, I asked. But him you swore to your God, God which is crazy. Someone. But continue, sir. Why is it crazy to swear to your God? Can you just say what you were gonna say? I, I, I I'm. Oh. Uh, so he said. So right. So I don't. I don't want to keep going back and forth with it. I. I think that it's. What? Okay, let me let me chill out a second. So all I was saying is I have light skinned kids, very light skinned kids. He was fourteen years old. When he was ten years old, I asked him about his new stepdad, right? His mom's new fiance, and I said, "Is he black?" He said, "What? What? He he didn't know." He didn't answer the question, and he said no. And when I when I met him, he was my color, brown, light brown. I said, Jackson, why'd you tell me he wasn't black? He said he's not black. I fully believe that if we that we can coexist and get rid of all this race. How black? Okay. And white. All right, Ace. Ace, How is that going to happen? Ace, Ace, let me ask you if something. We stop, okay. If we stop Ace, having conver I think provoking Ace, conversations like this, I Ace, think digging up the history, I think you digging up the digging history, up of history of white people sir, getting black people, I think it's important, but you <sighs> acting like it cannot be we cannot move on from that. Sir, well, hold sir. on. I have a sir. question. Oh, Ace. No, no, no. Wait hold a on. second. Stop, Hang on. on. Let me second. get at him. I have one question. Why does your kid know that they're black? Because we don't, we don't, because it doesn't what? Okay. It doesn't okay. Ace. It doesn't matter. To... You know, you came in before hold you get on with me, let me know. Let, I'll let you know that he does have, uh, there are black and white people in my family. But okay, yeah, we, that's obvious. Can you white, can you be quiet for a second so I can get this um, question out? Damn. 
all right. I need to understand because you obviously have some, you know, big race stuff going on here and you're you're not even recognizing the power dynamic that is at play because you're you're you really just said if we leave the history alone if we stop digging up history no, as I'm if not leave as, it alone. that's what you said sir let me finish no, my thought. Not. let me hey, finish my damn be respectful thought. while you're on this hold on sister hold on hold on hold on hold on what southern ace what you're not going to do is, to do is talk over me that's yeah ace you need to oh, stop man. and let the sister talk you bugging the fuck out sir you, you're not Let the woman to talk. What's wrong with you? Control yourself. We know you're emotional right now, Am but I you have to control that? yourself and let the woman talk. Shush. At the end of the day, damn. So if the culture of whiteness, first of all, we don't even have to go back in history. We're, we're seeing examples of white supremacy all around us every day. So I don't know what the hell going back in history, if we stop dredging up the past, we don't have to dredge up the past. We could talk about right the hell now. We're seeing it happen in Palestine, but I'm not going to touch that right this second. Colonization is the culture of whiteness. Would you agree? Do you understand what colonization is? Okay. Okay. So if colonization is the culture of whiteness, how is that coexisting? It doesn't coexist anywhere that it's ever occurred. What happens in, when, when a, a place is colonized? It is taken over. It is taken honey, over by for what, force. honey? You were sleeping. It is, it is taken over by force. I get dressed what? for what? You know, oh, uh, Crystal, please mute. Oh. You don't have school yet. Crystal, That's the morning. Please mute. Uh, I don't know why. Lord help us, please. Colonization. <laughs> Yo, this shit is chaos, bro. Go ahead, Southern. Oh, man. When y'all come up here, y'all have to mute y'all mic, man. Go ahead, Miss Lady. So, if colonization is the culture of whiteness, and we know for a fact that it cannot coexist anywhere because it seeks supremacy in all things, how the hell are we coexisting? We're not coexisting. We are operating under the umbrella of white supremacy. We are surviving in a system, an infrastructure of white supremacy that was meant to subjugate us. Now, just because you choose to ignore that because of your biracial, you know, confusion does not make it any less true. And at the end of the day, if you are operating in this world as a non-white person, then that is problematic for you, sir because whiteness is exclusionary. So I don't care how much you say that you are mixed, you're biracial, however you want to define yourself. If you are not white, then you're not white. Whiteness is exclusive. And this system was built to support whiteness. Now you might align yourself with whiteness. You might want to be white adjacent and therefore you might uphold white supremacy and right, white supremacist ideologies in the way that you navigate the world, which is a whole other version of problems and anti-blackness. But at the end of the day, whiteness is exclusive. You don't get to be a part of it and neither do your children. So yes, as the lady on the bottom was saying, it's very problematic that your child doesn't understand that because it's gonna cause your child problems in the future when they are harshly told and, and uh, given an identity crisis uh, by their life experiences, which tell them that they are not white. Exactly. Well, that's Excuse the biracial person respectfully. Hey. I'm biracial. Racial black person. I'm confused. I've never been confused. I don't navigate this world thinking that I'm a white woman. I am a black woman at the end of the day, every right. day. No, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Ace. What, what was the question? No, it wasn't a question. I said you're giving very much like a confused biracial person. Like, like I'm black. You're saying that you have light skinned kids. Like, what? Like, what are you, what's going on right now? But you said that like what am i confused why am i confused i'm, I'm listening i'm learning I'm, you, I'm learning but maybe i am confused why am i confused though you what do you why you, are you hear yourself so talking you, you are very much confused sir something is wrong hey, as, something as a white is person wrong. So tell me white person, that's I why i come up here because you you literally didn't educate like it's not even about educating like no no, no you don't know that i didn't but your kids don't know that they're black and they're black. That's weird. They, like it's, they didn't it's a whole different know level of black confusion. was the way that I describe that to describe him. How old are your children? Ace? How what? old is your 
Because I understand he was like nine years old at the time. Nine years old when this occurred. Okay. He he understands he's black now. I, I get that. But children typically understand distinctions between race um, from the time that they're, uh, you know, toddler age, about three to five, um, six children years old. They, what we throw in their face. I, sir, can I finish my thought? I'm mm -hmm. not attacking you. I'm explaining something to you. <clears throat> children typically understand distinctions between race, not in a social capacity, not not on, on a hierarchical level to the degree that we understand it, but they, they make <laughs> observations about race in those age groups. That's why the doll study that has been done four or five times um, over the course of the last 50 plus years. I don't I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's a study to examine the way that children perceive good and bad, right and wrong as relates to race. Their children are presented with images um, or the first one was actual dolls, but images of different varying skin tones, phenotypes that we would uh, categorize as race. And they are asked to pick which one is the good child, which one is the bad child, which one is the pretty child, which one is the ugly child and guess which ones they always pick and this this study has been done repeatedly over time and the results have have barely, have barely. they have not changed at all it's from not. the time it was initially done Abby. to the most recent study so which ones do you think they called the ugly doll and which one was the pretty doll that's not true those results that do is absolutely vary. true my sir. girlfriend yeah. has a bachelor's degree in human science sir i, I have a master's degree the results do vary then you should know that those oh results my to God. That test have varied they're not significant not variations is my point they're not statistically significant not variations significant. can you just follow along here. sir so are, yes, because you have yes, not been very it's, it's it's clear I, you aren't extremely not educated about you're not very educated about racial dynamics so you damn sure can't school me on this i'm not I trying to i don't even you. know I'm why you're even you. trying i'm starting Go ahead, you're the getting same thing that test does vary you. you're getting defensive when you've been asked been asking us the whole time to school you and you're getting a defensive when she's telling you something and now you're saying it, it varies the point of the matter is it is what it is you're upset because or i'm going to say i'm calling you out that your kids don't know that they're black it's weird and you're saying that it really doesn't matter because we That's teach our kids it. that it doesn't matter like what are you talking about in america it does matter when your kids go outside and they they're faced with a cop, it does matter. When they're faced with a Karen, it does matter. Like, what do you when they go get a job? You're it does like matter. I don't know. Like I don't. I, you're talking like I don't your, know. Your, your kid is nine years old. You're and that's talking like my, my kid is not nine years old. My kid is. God, that damn was insufferable. Nah, nah, nah. I, look, that's why I came up. I'm nah, sorry. Nah, nah, nah. Friend, I can't stand. Hey, hey, hey. Your ass is gone. <laughs> I can't stand a problematic biracial. Okay, I can't stand a. You know, I'm gonna get in that ass every time. I can't do it's, it. It's it. I understand that emotionally, it can be draining. Um, to when you hit someone's ego wall, to keep trying to force the conversation in a productive direction. But I hope to those that watch and based on my DMs, those that watch do get value from these conversations because some of them have haven't seen it play out. So. Um, thank you for uh, your work, Southern Fried and uh, Sister I Am Art, um, and uh, speak. Yeah, you know, it, it just hey, it, needs, it needs to be said. Someone needs to be able to, you know, hear it. But, um, how y'all how y'all doing tonight? Doing well, educated. Uh, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? White, he, him, and I'm 36. Okay, real quick, I'm going to encourage everyone down below. Everyone, not the people on the panel, but everyone that's in the chat, please tap like, tap like, protect the live, protect the live. We up here talking about nuances. Um, we're talking about some TikTok sensitive things. So just please tap like, tap like, some gifts, um, show love to the panel. Um, they up here doing some some hard uh, uh, work for you know the ancestors, letting the ancestors use them. Um, and uh, we're going to keep it going, keep the conversation going, share with some friends as well. Show the algorithm that you get value from this content so I can keep making it and we can keep coming back up here. Let's get to 75K in the next five minutes. I appreciate y'all very much. As you listen along, just tap like. Um, educated, uh, go ahead. Give us your age, race, and pronouns, please. 36, he, him, and 
Uh, I'm white. Okay, and go ahead, talk to us. All right, so as a white person, I don't think that white males should date black females because as a white male, what could I tell a a black black male growing up or even a black female how to deal with the police or how to proceed with caution in certain situations so no such they didn't thing get black female. Say it again. There's no such thing as a black female. There's black women. Um, everyone non-black um, can have females in their group, but we don't refer to black uh, women as okay. females. Um, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I, no, I, I, I was just I was just correcting you. We don't, on okay. this, um, we've talked about it many times. Um, black females don't exist, only black women. Okay, well, I don't think as a white person in general that we would have the the mindset to tell people of the black origin how to live safely around police and stuff like that because this country's fucked up and as a white person i have a i'm sorry I, as a white person i have privilege that i was born with and it's not it's not anything that i can change unfortunately all i can do is try to help as i can but I just don't think that as a white man dating someone of the black origin that I would be able to tell you know, black children how to grow up to be safe in this world because what I've never you, I've never experienced it. What if you just worked on those problems and didn't not date black women? You know what, what I'm saying? Do you, I don't know how to. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is you can date whoever you want to date, right? Marry whoever you want to marry, but to say that you prefer not to date somebody based on uh, a racial categorization that was literally meant to exclude them in the first place, uh, which is the reason you call us people of color, because it means that you'd be people without color. And so um, you'd be continuing and echoing the, uh, the uh, rhetoric of your forefathers by saying that you wouldn't um, do that. Instead of instead of doing that, why don't you just work on anti-racism within your own community and not come up and tell us why you wouldn't do something and just tell us what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I, I get what you're saying. I, I get exactly what you're saying. And I'm going out of my way to do anything because I don't really know what to do. Um, like you are your way to do something because you're going out of your way well maybe you're not maybe not out of your way but you made a decision to not date black women because you think somehow um that would obligate you to learning more about blackness and having to no. the ideas around black identity if in fact you were to progress with a black woman and have a child i would argue that it shouldn't take you having a child with a person of another race for you to care about understanding how those individuals navigate the world, the dangers of those things, and by default, how you benefit from that oppression. I would argue that maybe the focus should not be on making a stance on not dating those individuals and perhaps taking a stance about how to minimize those occurrences in the world by how you interact with other white people and educate other white people but first you gotta educate yourself right and i and i fully admit that i don't i don't know a lot about the cat about the situation because like i said i've never experienced racism i've never dealt with it i've never i've never had why do y'all always look at racism from your lens or from our lens i'm sorry i'm saying that wrong why what do you do mean I always look at racism from like hold on let me just let me disconnect myself from my Racism, like from black people's perspective, I need you to look at it from how your uncles and your granddad and your grandma how they looked at it. You need to be critiquing that side of the, the fence because you always think like, well, I can't experience or I don't understand. I'm not asking you to understand my perception. I'm asking you to look at how your ancestors and your grandparents have treated black people. That's what you should focus on. And a lot of y'all YC people be so lost and confused and how you show up. You show up because you know y'all still got little trinkets and 
putting wood knots in y'all house that are very racist. You still know you got racist cousins and uncles. Like, that's what you should be focusing on. That's where your start starts. Right. And I understand where you're coming from, but how is it my fault for what my ancestors did? Oh, Lord. Go ask Oh, Lord. It ain't too far. I love when y'all try to speak on your ancestors. I mean, that's what you keep, that's what everyone on this panel is saying is how is it my fault that. You got no ancestors. Okay, nobody else, nobody else on this panel said anything you about no your ancestors. damn ancestors. So don't. You, no, hold on. you said, you said my uncles, you my great uncles, stuff like that. That's what we said. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Our, our kids are still going to school dealing with kids, your kids. And your kids are still displaying the same racism to our children that our ancestors. I don't know nothing about my kids. So forget I, the ancestors. You don't know that my kids are going to school to, and displaying I'm racism. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. So you sitting here saying that you're not white racist or you don't understand. I'm telling you to look at the white lens you walk in and realize, look in your internalized racism and say, oh, Oh wow, that is racist. Not from a you could cop, stop coming in black spaces telling black people I, what you don't experience. Y'all know who in y'all family is racist. If it ain't you yourself, you know your granddaddy. You know all that. Tap like y'all. And I mean, I, I I get where you're coming from, but my grandparents aren't racist. My grandmother was raped by a African American. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh no. Nah. No, it's not. So we listen, have, we have that's a damn in our listen, family. Listen, nah. educated. I need My you to stop. Not I need you right. to stop right now. This is not going to happen. You are you not about to turn this into a victim conversation. Don't people? do this. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Educated, wow. I need you to family. stop and mute your mic, brother. Sir, I was about to call you brother. You ain't my brother. I, got you. I, got you. I need you to mute. Do not come on this panel and do that. Do not come on this panel in a black space and do what you was just trying to do. Hell the F no. You are not about to do that. If you're going to have a conversation, don't be disingenuous. Don't pretend like you don't understand what happens in schools, especially between YT kids and black or melanated kids, the racism that happens, the separation that happens, all these things that happen in the real world, especially with now we adults. This shit literally happened as adults. So whatever mindset your kids have is how your brain, your, how your brain works, excuse me. So if you believe these things don't happen, you are instilling that into your goddamn kids. So your kids believe that racism doesn't exist. Your kids believe that they're white or light skin or what have you, that they're going to go against or have a conversation with black kids and it's going to be the same experience. You think that your white kids are going to go into a school and be given privilege and you think the same thing is going to happen for black kids. You are crazy, sir. Don't come up here and do this victim with blaming of victimhood that you was about to do that somebody graped somebody, somebody so a black man did this. Don't bring that into this conversation. Be respectful and mindful of the space that you are in. I ain't rocking with that, bruh. I open up my conversation. You can respond saying, now. What the hell I are open, you doing? I open up my no, conversation sir. by saying that I will never experience life like you do. That's exactly how I open up my conversation. So I right, and you that also, there's atrocities and, you also, and that I'll never live you, like that. And you also leveraged a trope against us in this conversation, because whether whether what you said about your grandmother is true or not, that was a white supremacist trope that was used to uh, unalive many black men. Oh, they're after your women. They're going to take your women, essentially, by force. OK, that trope has been used against black men, especially since since slavery. And certainly after slavery, it was used as an excuse to unalive countless black men. And it was 99.9% .9 of the time lies. Okay? Lies. And I understand that you're saying they were lies. In my case, it's not lies. I wasn't okay, trying to. Okay, I don't to... care about your oh, grandmama's no, no, story. No, no. I don't care. Lies again, is, is... again I'm, I'm not going to let you even continue down that path. Because, again, you are leveraging a white supremacist trope against us even in this conversation so you you asked what are you responsible for for your ancestors having done sir i would ask you what have you done because what you did just then was harmful i could imagine the conversations that you have in company with other white people mm. if you were willing to say that on this panel full of black people 
I don't even want to know what you would say in why, why, of other white people. Why would I lie? There's a, a million mm-hmm. reasons to lie. Wow, what does your name mean to you? Educated idiot. There's a million reasons for you to lie, sir. Uh, so that you can have some some sort of capital in you know, this conversation. The question is, why would you specify? Because you could have said grandma was great by a man. You, d- you decided to specify was- based on a racial category of oppression. You decided to point out that it vilifies them even more to say that it was a black man. Guess and what? That's All, what the problem is. Guess because what? I was getting guess to what? the point y'all that don't I have. See color, y'all don't see have... color. We're all human. We're all one race. No, I do see color. Something happened to one of y'all, and then all of a sudden, no matter what. Well, well, guess we what? No matter what. I'm I'm willing to bet that every single one of the black people in this live have a grandmama who were raped by one of your people. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay, but that's not my fault. Oh, of more of your pe- then why the hell did you bring it up as relates to your granny? To get to a point. Why did you bring because it up I was as trying to get to, to a point? What to point, point you that possibly the, made the, that the young point. lady, the young lady that was talking to me, that was right below me. I don't remember her name. She was saying that that my grandma's racist stuff like that. Well, if she was racist, she, she would have kept. No, she wasn't. She wouldn't have kept yes, the child. She was. Yes, she raised. She, was. she chose and raised the child. She was. Was your grandma so, a white woman? Education. You sound so ignorant. Tell me that's why she kept the child. Be fucking for real right now. Be oh, for real. Wow. Fucking for real. Token. That's, that's fair. Sir, Very fucking can I ask you another question? Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. What are yes, you sir. doing as a white man? To teach your kids not to be how your ancestors or your grandparents were. Yeah, what are you doing as a white man to teach your kids not to be that way today oh, in 2023? So Come on, man. Thank you to everybody that donated the, the Panther Paul. The fact that you recognize that trope, because there's been many times in history that a white woman would lie because she snuck off and got a little bit of, you know, some exactly. chocolate, and then turned around and had a kid, and then turned around and be like, oh, he, 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 great me, but it wasn't the case. You willingly gave, you gave him some, you know, cat, and it didn't go away because of your racist. Absolutely. Uh, That's why she kept her baby, because she's a liar, period. And abortion wasn't uh, available as like like it was back then. <laughs> your, your Nima and Grandpa, they was doing the things, and then they would turn around and be like, "Oh no, he touched me," and then it'd be a consequence towards the black man. So that trope right there, no, you know what you was doing. And that's yeah. the. Goal. Let's go on to the next guest, um, American. Could you give us your age, race, and pronouns? Hey everybody, um, my name is America, 44, pronouns is him. Um, towards the questions, can interracial, interracial uh, relationship be problematic? I think that's what they said. Um, dependent, because sometimes- It's interracial, know- man, not interracial. <laughs> I'm not back. I, I'm, interracial. I, I, interracial. <laughs> interracial relationship, is it, um, can it be problematic? Um, Yes, depending on the the coupling, coupling. Like if you have like a white t- a white man, then sometimes it's usually not as problematic as in if they dating a white woman, because a white woman she still uh, even both of them they haven't done the work to um, dismantle their internalized racism. But with the white woman, it can be a dangerous situation for a black man, and I've been a, a part of situations where. I had a friend that she was a white woman and she would show me stuff that her Nima and they would say about her. Oh, you have, um, they would call her the end lover, but yet you're introduced me to these people. And in my face, they presented to be nice. But then when they did things didn't go the way they wanted with her, they'll call her all types of end lovers, et cetera, et cetera. And it was just like, what did you do to dismantle that? We're not friends no longer because she was very problematic towards the end because of her internalized racism. So, I, and I had to learn that. You know, you gotta learn how to tell your family members that you're right. Bottom line. Hold on, Cindric. We'll get to you in a moment. Uh, let them land. Um, all right, so, I'm sorry. Um, somebody said you sound like that dude that do the freestyles every year on New Year's. Who, me? Yeah, where you from? I'm from um, the Bronx. Oh, okay, that's why. All right. Um, <laughs> 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 
of the um, um, preference or federal federalization. Um, yeah, because sometimes when you ask, and this is all when it comes to a, a white woman, when you ask them sometimes, oh, they don't get like, why you prefer to date black men? And you already know it's all because this, this, that. They don't go past anything sexual. Mm. Yeah, they, they don't ask themselves the question why. Can you be pro black with uh no you no no you have pro black man you're pro black marriage pro black family pro black you're for black. Um, uh, can black and white culture I can't see it because culture culture fully coexists in a healthy relationship as long as they do the work to dismantle they elicit biases towards black people and unless they like we can't dismantle it because it's y'all stereotypes it's like i tell people once we came, we got we we um we fought for our freedom and got our freedom we became villains mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we became stereotypes we became everything that everybody else go through when they try to come to america whether it's um, black or brown bodies, when they try to come to America, it's always demonized. But they also criminals. They also rapists. They this, they this. But when we was in chains and lock and chains and locks, it was just like, oh, we good. No, we were always villains, respectfully, even with chains. I'm just saying, I don't agree with that. We were always looked at as in a negative way. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna land my plane. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, it was some nuance, but I, I feel like it, that, that was a good good way to end it. I'll go to the next guest, uh, Tendrick. Could you give us some, uh, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? Hold on, uh, brother. Before the next guest go in, uh, let's get to 100K likes, man. Get the brother, brother legend on the rankings. In the next 20 minutes, y'all tap the screen, get the likes up. If you fill a ball up two to three times, that's two to three hundred likes. Everybody tap the screen. Tap, tap, tap. Um, and brother, my fault. I think I actually went a little crazy with the with, with, with homie that was up there before Ace. I kind of went ham, but you know, I, I get a little passionate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm over here sipping, and I was laying down. So when I heard that shit, that shit pissed me off. I kind of went crazy. But uh, yeah, y'all tap the screen, get the likes up, and I'm gonna fall back. Cause yeah, I'm trying to fall back when with the cursing when I'm up here too. But I'll be going crazy sometimes. That should be pissing me off. But y'all can go ahead, man. No, you were in the right on that one. You were totally in the right on that one. That's all there is too. Go ahead, Tendrick. You sound muffled. We can barely hear you. Could you? Uh... Oh, um, can you hear me better now? Barely. You sound like there's a fan behind you or something. There probably is. Let me move. Yeah, well, he probably got an iPhone, man. Next time, you got to throw that shit away, man. Get you, get you an Android or a Samsung. No iPhone, <laughs> you probably got an iPhone. You got to mute and unmute like two, three times. We might be able to hear you. Or you got to put your, your phone in the air like if you, you got an antenna with an old school TV or something. Because you know them iPhones is garbage. God damn it. Uh, uh, now, what it was was I was talking low because I was uh, next to someone and I didn't want to disturb him. Okay. But, um, hey, Joe, I, pronouns, please. Uh, so, um, I'm 50 years old and I go by godly. <laughs> I believe in everything godly. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. It sounds like you're like talking like away from your phone like this. Like, do you oh, have let me, let, me, let me do something. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like he said he believes in garbage. Garbage. You gotta talk into the phone as if you're on a phone call. You hear me now? Like if you got the phone in your ear. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. After, you got a lot of noise. I'm just moving. After. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Um, the much better. Sure. Okay. Age race. Go ahead. Talk to us. All right. I'm 50, I'm 50 years old, and uh, I go by he and him. Or whatever you want to call me, really. Um, Why do people skip the race question? Have y'all been keeping tally? I've, I asked the audience uh, to keep tally how many people skip the race question. Like, I don't know. They always skip race. It's a thing. Um, age, what, uh, race, pronouns. Uh, so what's your okay, race? Uh, say what? My race? 
Oh, uh, I guess you want to say white, but I, I don't believe in race. I don't believe in, uh, I, when, when I grew up, like, it wasn't until ninth grade I even, even heard about race or racism. It because took me you're white. Huh? Where are you from? Because you're white, and white is the you're, default you're... setting. It's a, it's a privilege to not have to think about or know about race, but go on, sir. Um, I, I have black family members, so that wouldn't be the case. Please don't tokenize, is, is, Please don't tokenize will, black people. I'm, I'm not, I'm, 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 sir, I'm not, sir, I'm, I'm just saying not is that I'm, us. we are not currency for you to use I'm not, as social, as, as social capital when you're having I'm a conversation. Not, I am not, I am not. No, what I am saying is, is as I was growing up, I, that was just not introduced to me. That's what I'm saying. All right, so hold on. So that that I'm I'm just that's I'm just a flag that makes me not want to have this conversation with you because we're talking about race and you tell me you didn't know about it. So I, not I, until the ninth grade. And I'm not where did you ninth grow grade. up at? Where, you where did you grow up? Where you didn't I know grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania. You, and let, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him. I'm gonna let y'all talk. When? I mean, I'm sorry. Where did you grow up? Erie, Pennsylvania. And you ain't know about race. Did you grow up with wolves? Were you raised by wolves? <laughs> no, it was just that I I was raised in the projects. Can we you know about race in the projects? Everybody, everybody was everybody. Everybody, everybody your everybody homie was your homie, no matter what. We we didn't. I you like I said, I didn't. I did not. I didn't. Homie, but they uh, didn't know that they were white. They were all mixed in the in the projects in Erie. They didn't they didn't they didn't segregate us. They were all mixed in the projects in so, Erie. All everything's all together. Mixed? Who were they? How were they mixed? If they didn't know what race was, yeah. were they just mixed human beings? They really mean like there would be a white family in this house. There would be a black family in this house. There would be a Mexican family in this house, and so and so on. We they just were all the we, same? Huh? They thought they were all the same race. The, we we didn't we we weren't we weren't we weren't introduced to that. We it was we weren't told anything like that. Sounds like what Southern uh, Fried said is true. That you being white, you didn't have to think about it. But I'm sure there were black people from where you live that knew they were black. I'm sure. I'm a hundred percent sure. That I would have to agree. Because in all honesty, I'm just going to be straight out honest with you. A white person does not know anything about racism until it becomes part of his, part of his life. White person I may, I, 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 they, they don't, oh, they, they, they don't, they don't, they, they oh, don't ever experience it. They don't, they don't know of it. They don't like. Well, that's just you. We don't know. You have to understand. You have to understand one thing is that not all white people have history within what our so-called forefathers did. Like some of us whites came over after the fact. We we're, were we came oh in over God. ships. The ones, and, up, the ones that came over after the fact, to be honest, can I be honest with you guys? Let me. This is my hot take for the, for the night. The ones that came over. After the fact, right? They saw what the fuck was going on with our ancestors, right? And then they said, you know what? That's the land of opportunity, guys. Let's get over there. And then they came here. They put aside their culture. And even though white people oppressed them originally, say the Irish, for example, they originally were oppressed by the same system of white supremacy. They decided to put down their culture distance themselves from their Irishness and assimilate into the same group that had marginalized and excluded them. They're, they're even worse than the no, slave actually, masters. No, actually, we marched. That's even worse. No, actually, you we, we marched with you. For we your white privilege. You. That's even worse. We marched with you. You got to understand something. Though. There's white. No, there's they a, marched with us. Okay, they hold on. You, 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 you're, forget, you're forgetting. You're forgetting. Uh, you're forgetting the fact that oh, white no, people no, have been involved with us, and you didn't even know that race existed until the ninth grade. Long time. There's a long time. You just said you didn't know race existed until the ninth grade. How you gonna tell us who marched with you? But I'm. What I'm trying to tell you is, is that 
I married a black Ooh, woman. Lust on racism. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, what I'm trying to tell you, oh, I married Lord. a black woman. He say, said he married a black woman. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. And, and you're admitting and, that, and we're still letting you talk. I think that's problematic, y'all. And problematic? I, you admit, it's like me looking underneath a car engine hood and just being like, oh, I didn't know what a car was till the ninth grade, but I'm going to tell you, this is how you should poke it up. You should put those wires well, in this. You want too. racism like, to that, end, but you, won't, you, right you, you want racism in the end, but you won't sit there and acknowledge that there's some white people who have no, no idea and no history in it. Once you, once you acknowledge that some there you go. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Your ass is gone. Your ass is gone. Yes. <laughs> He's gone. Absolutely. Thank you, Stella, again, for the pen pause. Stella is keeping the live safe tonight, man. Shout out to Stella, man. Because uh, you came through in the clutch with that one. For real. Yeah. yeah. It's wild, man. It's like we just sit here and it's like that um that little video game where like little asteroids come and you got like pew, 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 and shoot them. I forgot the name of that game, but yeah, people like asteroids on here. It, it, it's literally the racist bingo card. Like I can tell you what they're going to say before they say it. Yeah. Jeez. Right, yeah. I mean, you know, hopefully it helps with our cognitive dissonance to all those that are listening. If you are black, if you are a brother or a sister. I hope this live helps with your cognitive dissonance. Do not get out here and think one way and act another. These people are not your friends. We be, we be sitting here watching. Y'all see how common it is for them to be ignorant. Um, don't don't uh, fetishize um, a peaceful environment around your uh, oppressor. If you know that they are ignorant, treat them as such. Please don't have cognitive dissonance. Um, uh, Ashley, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns? My age is 30, my race is uh, a black, and my pronouns are she and her. Okay, so yesterday I tried to join, but there was an issue with my phone, and I had an epiphany as I was listening to your conversation. Uh, I'll tell you that epiphany in a second, because it deals with the second question. It says, can, can interracial relationships be problematic? Yes, they can. They sure can. Uh, is it a preference and fetishization? At first, I thought it was a preference until I started listening more. And then it brought me back to, like, I don't know, like teenage years. And I didn't understand why people would tell me, oh, he's only with you because you're black. I didn't realize it was a fetishization. So it's definitely a fetishization. Uh, uh, can you be pro black with a non black spouse? No, you can't be. Uh, can black and white culture, cultures fully coexist in a healthy relationship in the family? No, absolutely not. Yep. Somebody knew the assignment. Can't be mad. That's what's up. I know discourse is a lot more fun, but Hi, how are y'all? Hey Trenton, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns? I'm 18 and my pronouns are he, him. Your race? I just about the biracial thing, I do believe it can work. My my dad's black and my mom's white. Uh I I'm mostly white, but like my dad, you can definitely tell they grew up in two whole different households. Like, your dad is black. How are you mostly white? I'm confused. I don't, like, if you looked at me, you would never be able to tell that my real dad is right. oh. black. Like, All right, so you do know that race is not only determined by your phenotype and how you look, right? Well, I did a DNA test. I'm 60% white, 40% black. There is no DNA test on this fucking planet that will tell you your race. That doesn't exist. Boy, Unless you got a DNA test in 1930. Shut your nigger ass up. Shut, fuck you. How about that? Nigger, 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 nigger. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. They doing it again. This happened the other day. Listen, hold on, y'all. Everybody type F1 in the comments. 
Everybody type F1 and tap the screen. Brother, I don't know if you're going to knock the live down, but everybody type F1 in the comments and tap the screen. This shit happened the other night. The homie that said the monkey, the, you know, the animal shit, M-O-N-K. Y'all tap the screen, tap the screen, type F1. I'll be honest with well, you. Um, yeah, this shit is crazy. Down, I want to stay here until we get to at least 100K. Yeah, if y'all could send gifts to show the algorithm that um i'm not doing anything harmful up here then please go yeah ahead. if y'all tap tap to about 115k man everybody tap the screen and gift um you know type f1 and gift gift legend man tap the screen and just send gifts we're gonna see what happens but you should be good bro because at the end of the day it depends on people panels or situations if the app depending on people platforms will clip the live but if there's certain things that happen you know uh, there could be some prevention. Yeah, like right now, the F1 and the likes could potentially not have this shit get clipped, but that's just what that is. That's why I'm big on that. Keep saying F1 when you hear a red flag situation and just power tap. The minute you see some weird shit or hear some weird shit, just everybody just taps at the same time. And you should be fine. Unless it's some something like the, the R word, you know, when people are uh, special. I know. That or the the F word or if somebody calls somebody the B word, that usually get lives clipped, but you should be good, bro. All right, we'll see. I'll stay up. Appreciate you, Stella. Thank you, my team. Um, I'll go to the next guest. Jamal, could you give us your age race and pronouns, please? Yolanda. Yolanda Barker. Oh, shit. Miss Barker? Oh, no. She maybe didn't mean to come up. All right. Uh, Diamond Love, could you give us your age race pronouns, please? Yeah, my age is 37, and I'm a black African woman, um, and I'm, I'm a miss. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just jump off on the first question, and that's can inter interracial, interracial relationships be problematic? Um, yeah, I think they can be problematic. Um, I don't think um, a white person ever is going to understand the um, black narrative, the black experience. Um, and I do feel that um, white people do oppress black people and they try to put their own ideologies onto the um, onto black individuals and they try to like um, incorporate their own their own truth onto the black people and they try to make their truth justified and when they come into an interracial relationship it's somehow like they want us to dismiss our truth and then when we do form children when children are formed a lot of biracial children do become um confused um in the mist because they don't know which part of the coin they actually belong and then it's not until they they reach a certain age they realize that they are actually black because of the white person's um influences that it has upon the blackness but yeah that's what i'm saying mm. okay i do gotta agree with that that that's definitely true i had to teach myself well um i want to say uh thank you for sharing that um and um, thank you to everybody that sent gifts and, pro and typed F1 in the comments. I appreciate you. Um, lovely rose petals and Molly, because we got to work on this so that that doesn't keep happening. Um, so I'm going to give y'all both uh, rose petals and Molly. I'm going to give y'all both uh, ability to like take people out of here if they start saying that, but you got to report them. Because the problem is when they say words like that, they can just hop down and then report the live and then get us taken down. You see what I'm saying? Oh, okay, you do report them? Okay, cool. Because I, I, I just try to get them down. I don't got time to report them. So I'm going to give y'all the ability to like take them down and uh, report them. So thank you. Um, Taboo, could you give us your... Oh, um, I'm sorry. One moment. Rashad, what's good, brother? Good man, I've just been uh tuning in, man, listening. Y'all wanna get up here and go crazy, man. This ain't the platform, I guarantee you. We have people in here that actually do research. We have people in here that actually 
do this stuff in real life. If you want to learn something, if you want to sit down and take something in, do that. Or you could get destroyed. Either one. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at it all. Honestly, that was hilarious. The fact that and the um one dude, it always comes to this, right? Oh, I got a I I married a black woman. <laughs> and oh my god, it's just the jokes write themselves with this stuff, man. But uh yeah, yeah I just I, I, I'm peeping in. I'm I'm gonna let the other two go though. Yeah, thanks for coming up, uh, brother. Uh, I think it was, was it Taboo? Taboo, could you give us your age, race, and pronouns, please? Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man. I mean, pronoun, I don't, yeah. Um, taboo, and I'm 40, 48, just like 48. Um, so I just wanted to, like, the questions I've seen it. Pronouns are he, she, or they. Choose one. Choose one or I'll choose it for you. You're muted. We can't hear you. You say choose a he, she, a they. Yeah, choose one. He, I'm she. him. I'm, okay. I mean, what I'm... All right, that's cool. All right, go ahead. Talk to us. Uh, I was just passing through the... and seeing your, your um, questions and I just wanted to, you know, hit on your topic or whatever. Um, Because I have... Uh, I got uh, my wife is uh, Caucasian, and it's not a fetish. Uh, so I can't even talk on here when <laughs> you get mad because I got a, a Caucasian wife. Caucasian is a white supremacist term. So what, 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 what word do you want me to use? White, but Caucasian is literally. Uh, coined by uh, one of Schmittler's men. So, that's the Carca- thing, but, original yeah, Caucasian cool. people was was melanated anyway. But okay, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna name. I'm gonna call her white since that was y'all want to use white. I say white. Um, it's not a fet- fetish. Uh, I just like light skinned women, and uh, just so happen to be a, a white girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, brother, 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 hold on, hold on, can I ask you a question? Just one question, you said you have light-skinned women, how do you correlate light-skinned women with a white woman? How do you do that? That don't make sense to me, Can you explain that to me a little bit? No, she's white. She's not light skinned. I'm telling you, she's light skinned. Oh, she's not. She's white. She's a white woman. How is she light skinned and she's a white woman? I don't understand. So, white ain't light skinned? Can you explain that to me, brother? White. White is not light skinned? It's light skinned and it's white, not light skinned. No, that's what you want to say. It's not white. It's not white. It's fucking pink of. Something else is not white. <laughs> can I just, sorry, can I just add? Sorry, can I just add? And men like men like this really make black women like feel powerless. There's nothing called. What you mean, white woman? Yeah, because powerless. there's nothing called. Because there's nothing called um you, light I, skin. I, I, it's I, I, either I black mean, or white. Your woman is a white woman. I did sisters all my life, and it's a white woman. And what? You married There's a nothing wrong with that. Why? Why you didn't marry a black woman? You said you've been with sisters all your life, and she didn't. She didn't just, she just ain't. I just ain't mess with the ones that I dated. That's it. That's your problem. You so wrong. Brother Terrell Owens, Terrell. I mean, uh, taboo. What happened that <laughs> you are going to deal? Why? 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 Why would you do this to yourself, brother? And why are you mixing up a light skinned woman with a YT woman? That's not the same thing, Terrell. I mean, uh, taboo. To me it is. How you you tell confused, me you brother. How is a this white is woman? How is you a white you. woman light skin? I don't wear dashikis and all that like you, bro. How is a I'm white an American, bro? If I choose to date a white woman, I choose to date a white woman. Dashikis. Y'all are creating race. What the hell are you talking about, brother? What are you talking about? <laughs> the anti-blackness came out of him quick. What's wrong with dashikis? No, no, because how he talking to me. I, we don't wear dashikis here in America. You go, on, my boy. Yes, we do. So we what? appreciate you for making a fool out yourself. But listen, y'all, <laughs> we got to stay focused. 
Thank you uh, for the Panther Paws, y'all. Um, y'all have been cleaning up a little bit better than y'all was earlier. Because I'm going to be honest, earlier I lost faith. I was like, oh, we just going to let everything fly today. But now now some of y'all must have woke up. Because <laughs> earlier, this, this live was crazy. I'm, I'm going to post this whole video on YouTube. If y'all want to uh, listen on YouTube, um, you can. I'm going to post it on my YouTube. The button is on my profile here on TikTok. Just go on my profile and subscribe to my YouTube. Um, also, b1initiative.org. That's our Discord group where we discuss all of these topics and more in our think tank. Um, if you want to be part of the real conversation, feel free to join b1initiative.org. That's our Discord. Yo, brother, let me say something real quick. It's oh, it's funny to me that every time a brother or a sister jump in the panel and they have a problem with the race question, we can already we already know what's about to happen. They can't answer the race question or uh, the pronouns question mm -hmm. or prompt or what have you. They oh, if they struggle with that from the beginning, just give it like ninety seconds or let me say three minutes. All right. And they the always get the five paws. They the always get the paws because they don't know what the fuck is. Like, it's simple, bro. Right. But if you hate yourself or your blackness that much or you you not pro-black, it's unfortunate that you come up on these panels, on this panel, in this live, excuse me, and you just expose yourself. You don't love yourself, brother. Right. You cannot confuse a light-skinned woman with a pale, whatever the hell they are, um, I mean, excuse me, with a pale person. Yeah. But let me let me mute. Let me fall back. Me, you know, I can't take too much on this shit. I literally got on here and it's said. What? Go ahead, Rashad. I literally got up here and said they always get up here and try to. Just because you had sex with somebody doesn't mean you can relate. If I had, no, let me let me not use that one, but. Literally, y'all, is the jokes write themselves. He get up on here, he hates himself. And to the people, and to the and it's usually the man. Did watch this. Usually the man. If you, if you get up, if we get up here and ask you what your pronouns are, and you are a grown man, choose the correct pronoun. Don't. Why does your brain trigger a trauma response when somebody asks you a what your pronouns are that you use every day in your literature? You learn let me, let me, child. Yeah, let me say something to that. I know a lot of people, you know, in the community, they not aware, like they don't have a lot of awareness in terms You're of right. distinguishing. Uh, what is it? Because I get that shit confused sometimes. It's gender versus pronouns, right? Because that's no, the difference. Not none of that. Um, I mean, oh, could, could, identity. It's that. one of these that's shits. Wrong. But I know in the community, there's still a lot of people that got issues with that. That's that's all I wanted to say. But go ahead, man. Go ahead, I'll tell you. If you're, all I'm saying is. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. They don't got issues with it. They got issues with them themselves. Yeah. You use your pronouns all the damn times. If I call so, if I call um, that guy that came up here, she, and that's not what he wanted to be called, then he would know that shit was wrong. So I know that I'm on an app that is not a safe space for black people, but it's also, a, and but the reason it's not is because this is not just our app, and this is not just my okay. life like these other people that's watching i don't know who else could be watching if me addressing someone by the wrong pronoun because of how they voice sound is going to disrupt my whole conversation then i don't want to do that and if and if me, me calling somebody the wrong pronoun could cause them to have some type of trauma to to where you know now they reporting to TikTok that i'm this type of person and they need to ban my account or some craziness i wouldn't even want no smoke this is not my app so that being the case, I'm going to be respectful to somebody. And you know what your pronouns right. are, so it's not even hard. If I say choose he, she, they, I made it easy for you. You a grown, straight man. If you a straight, grown man, you know you him. You know you he. That's You know that. Why do y'all come up here and then eventually act like you want to be confused about your sexuality just because I asked you what your pronouns are? That's wild. You a straight man. If you a man, you know you a man. Just say yo. And then me, I have empathy for African brothers and sisters. They don't have pronouns in their language. So when I ask them to, to specify their pronouns, sometimes they just say, I'm, I'm a woman, I'm a man. Like, you know, they talk, that's how they talk. So 
respect to y'all. I understand, you know, that nuance there. And I even understand some brothers and sisters in the culture, but he just sounded like he had a problem. Oh, pronoun, I, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know. Like, what you mean you don't know? I'm, I know I'm a man. I know I'm him. That's it. He, him. That's it. Like, I don't know how that's hard. Easy. I've been on this app, uh, what is it, four years now? And I've gotten better with that because in in in, in typical conversations, Nobody's asking you your pronouns, so yeah. But I, I've gotten better with that, and I know how to ident. I guess identify well with all this shit in terms of you know the com that community. Yeah, I've I gotten mean, better, I'm and I learned a lot being on this app. So shout out to that, cause I I, I be on this shit to learn at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, y'all can go ahead. Out it's not out of fear of them that I do it. It's out of respect because, bro. Imagine I, it could be. I be looking at my lives, bro. It'd be like. 50,000 people's watching it live. Like sometimes when I get like over a band in here one time, right? It'd be like mad people in your live. And it's like, bro, if that many people, if that many people was in a stadium, you would see like, damn, this is a big ass crowd. It's like a Beyonce audience, right? And so imagine someone out there could be hurt by how I'm misgendering somebody to the point where if you know the statistic of black people, Bro brothers, uh, sisters, non-gender conforming, you know, black family members that unalive themselves in that uh, trans community, in the black community, then you understand that, why would I want to trigger them? You know what I'm saying? I would never want to hear that somebody hurt themselves because I'm up here being pro-black, talking for them on their behalf, but misgendering them and disrespecting them or disrespecting another black you know, family member on my live, like, I wouldn't want to do that because I can't see who's watching. You know what I'm saying? It's not just us on here. So that's the only reason I'm like, bro, I don't never want my name attached to that kind of negativity. You never know what's going on with somebody's mind. You don't, you don't know what someone's mental is. So, you know, I just, I just, I'll just be respectful. But yeah, I'm sorry. It, it just, it annoys me when brothers and brothers come up here, especially and act like they don't know they he. If you know you he, that's, that's crazy. It. He tried to do his best Uncle Ruckus impression, but we got to let these uh, black women go right here. Y'all go yeah. ahead and say y'all peace. Right. Um. Who's next? What? All right. I think I, did I let Diamond speak? Is it? Is it T T2 Spicy? Did you give us your age, race, and pronouns? Um, I'm 28 and I'm black and she, her. Uh, um, but yeah, before that guy came up here, um, I was gonna say, do I think interracial um, relationships could be a problem? I was gonna say yes, only because I feel like when I was in a relationship with a YT man, like, I got more stares and looks by both, like, communities, and it was just, like, very awkward and weird. But once you're with someone with your like your own race, I just feel like people don't like stare at you as much. You don't get judged from like your family and stuff as much. But that's just my personal opinion, and that's all I was really gonna say before he threw me off topic. I think it's more so like you being with a white T person is like problematic to the black community versus like problematic for you. You know, it's not really problematic for me, but I felt like in my family, like a lot of people had a problem with it and they were just like, why would I think they have a problem with it? Be honest. I think it was just because most of my family's older, so I feel like maybe it's because well, of like, it. why do black people tend to have a problem when you bring why do black people tend to have a problem? When you bring Zach home, I can answer that question. I feel like everyone has their own opinion to it. I really want to know care. anything about Black history. You're a black woman. Do you I know anything we all about know what happened black like back in the day and stuff like that? But it's just not like, back in the day. Back in today, do you know anything right about what's going on between black and white people for the past four hundred years? Do you think they might have some sort of maybe reason why they wouldn't want Zachary in their safe space, especially in their family? 
a safe space for all of us is usually our family because we get enough of them out in the world as our boss, our police, our judge, our, uh, uh, you know, uh, doctors. We get enough of them everywhere else. When we come home, we still got to see them because one of y'all going to act like historical context don't mean nothing. Do you think that might have had a role in why your family gave them side eye? And then think about the relationship between black people and white people. What in the world do they have to fear about us? So sometimes it can look the same. It looks the same because when I bring them around my black family, the black family don't like them. And then when I go around his white family, the white family don't like me. So it's just problematic. The white family got no reason to fear you. The white family has no reason to be triggered by you. You never colonized anyone. There's no country in Europe named after an African person where every white person doesn't know where they're from and were forced to work on plantations somewhere in Africa uh, or, or some other land that was colonized by Africa and they speak only Yoruba because, and they got a Yoruba last name because their last names were taken from them. That never happened to Europe. We have every reason to be on guard around them. So when you bring one home and you're not on guard, that tells us something about you. But it's also very intelligent for them to feel that way. There's no reason for European descendants to feel the way they do about us. So it might look the same, but the reasons are completely different. I'm glad you said that, brother. It also makes me, I love to bring things to present. Because one thing about these conversations is people keep saying, oh, that's history, that's old. So we'll use the young, beautiful black woman that was unalived by her bumble date, and he got to walk away. The young lady that was just made strange fruit this last past month, and those two that were her YT boyfriend is still being questioned. It's certain situations that we can look at in 2023. Even the young boy that went out and was invited to be to go swimming at the lake and the two other kids tried to unalive him by pulling him under the water. It's a level of understanding that historically and presently, we're still dealing with so much racism and oppression. And for us to be numb to it or blind to it is the most dangerous thing you can do. Louisiana, 15 year old best friend, a YT boy, he went with his mother and, his, and, and him and he never showed back up. His body showed up in a sugarcane field and his face looked like Emmett Till. These things are happening in 2023. Rasheem Carter went on a job, went out to work in a sundown town and his body and his remains are still being found in 2023. And this was, a what, maybe six months ago. These things are still happening. So embarrassing when we go into this thing. Oh, love is love. If y'all want to say that, by all means, but understand that you are putting yourself in, in proximity to danger. And I always ask the same question: How far do you go down and you shake that family tree before you run into a racist? Shit, not far. Uh, because you know, I'm a firm okay, believer: a, a white person that says that they're not racist. You just have to give them enough time and put them in the right environment, and it's definitely gonna come out. I know that's right. Exactly, that's right. sister. Are you still with the milk, man? If you're talking to me, no. <laughs> no. Why? Why did it end, man? Um, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh... Um, could I just quickly add on? Um, don't you feel that um, all white people are racist, regardless? Because um, I feel that every white person is racist, because racism is to do with power, and white people have a power that us black people um, aren't always able to identify, and um, this is why they are able to... Um, they, well, this is why they try to feel that they can oppress us in like the workplaces and many different um, environmental f places that us as black people go into. So I don't see why, like I definitely would not be bringing the white person home after a long day off at work out on the battlefield. And here in the UK as well, just um, echoing on what the other lady said, us, a lot of young black boys, they're killing each other. Um, so now I've, it's, they're killing each other a lot to do with the police. The police in the UK, they're mainly white police officers. And um, the black boys now are killing each other. And this is just due to them not having any identity, them not actually loving themselves. Um, 
and jazz. That's real. Um, live, man. On yeah. the live. The lies, on the live, yeah. yeah that's on the on live. The live. But, but that um, is, I'm sorry to hear that. That is a very bad, like, we, we have the same problem where we live, you know, over over uh policing and then the boys, like you said, they don't have a sense of home. They don't have a sense of self. What we're trying to do on this these types of platforms is live is give people the little spark they need to find themselves. When we get up here and we ask y'all questions about y'all's spouse and don't get up here and get defensive at folks. We know that everybody don't receive knowledge, all the same knowledge at the same time. That's why we get up here, go live, and talk about it. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to take it down, y'all. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming up. I think that's a show. I got to start cutting my, sh my shows a little shorter, but I might start doing two shows a night. Okay. Um, Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So the live you were in earlier, right? Did you hear them, them poons? When he was talking about black women were the bottom of the barrel. I didn't no, I left. I left it. I, I left. Uh I, I seen where that was about to go and I didn't that's crazy. I seen well, where that was about to go, yeah. Mm -mm. Now, it's amazing how people come on this app and they put on a show. I don't I don't understand how people can separate themselves from their own community and act as if they are beneath who birthed them. But y'all have a good night. Make sure y'all washed up if y'all didn't do it yesterday because I know y'all only do it once a week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, thanks for coming. Y'all be buddy. easy, man. All right, man, appreciate you. Um, and uh, shout out to all my mods. Shout out Molly, uh, Lovely Rose Petals. My sister Hoodoo's in the building. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, uh, check out my YouTube. YouTube button is on my profile. B1Initiative.org. That's our Discord group uh, where we have a knowledge center to talk about Pan-Africanism and all the things we talk about here. Really appreciate y'all following. And um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. I'll say.